Up. Yo, Data Frack, 10 tier ones. Thank you so much. Hey, everybody. Let me get that damn lying liar of a text off the screen. Because that's not true no more. Hello, everybody. Welcome, Atlas Industries. I actually think that a little old me is getting sick today, <laughs> which I'm mad about because I wanted to stream this game like Safety earlier this week and I was putting it off. Like, eh, we'll do a Friday. I'm doing a Friday and then it's like, okay, well, now it's time to get sick, bro. Your, my immune system was like, hey, man, eat this. And he threw a. Uh, that's not how getting sick works, actually. <laughs> wow. it's, it's the bugs coming at wow. my immune system, it's all the bugs in me. Um, but I decided I would do this anyway, because it's not quite, uh, it's, it's not quite bad yet. Um, I feel good enough to play a game and talk to you guys and, and read this game to you. And I've got water, I'm wearing socks, I've got everything that I could need. Oh, Kawaii, uh, Kawaii Oz, no! I could read that, you know, I could, but it went away fast. It went away too soon. I could have read the whole thing. And I saw an A in I'm there. So That's about it. Out. Anyways, today, everybody, we are playing, um, Home Safety Hotline. This game, it might be a scary game. I don't know. I think it's scary. Uh, this game is one of them fake computer games. As in, uh, we're going to be interfacing with a... Uh, a, a fake OS look a bit like Windows 98. Uh, the and our job is we're going to be working a home safety hotline and helping people with their problems. Uh, this might be a scary game. It might be a funny game. I don't really know. Literally, I saw this on the Steam new releases, and I clicked on it, and the trailer played for one second, and I clicked on one of the images, the one that I posted on Twitter, and I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. Um, the uh so i clicked on that i said that looks pretty cool i want to play that uh and here we are today um dinner check how have you guys been it's been a minute vegetables and it was great cheesy x thank you thank you so much thank you gothic princess bellatrix thank you overtones ssb are the reviews good yes uh this is actually made by i saw on jay tholen's twitter uh that this game is made by someone that worked on hypnospace however I don't know if their contributions uh, go beyond. They made the dancing We've pizza gift. The dancing pizza guy. That was the the person that made this game. Um, so that gives the, the fact that there's any association at all gives me high hopes. Yo, gnome event. Hey, hey, hey. My cat is transfixed by your broadcast inbound screen. Says Ghost Dunk. I like that. You know me too. During these BRB screens, y'all know what I what I'm doing. I'm, sorry I'm staring that at that at that that sexual me. wave and watching it flow into the air. It's beautiful. Shouts out Atrab who made this. Oh, like at this point, have we had this for two years now? Year and a half. On the computer smile. He did an amazing job. Why? Why is my use of? The, haven't you guys been here around long enough to not be weirded out by me Eight saying months. something like that? What is every? It is sexual. It's absolutely scared. sexual. Look at that. Do you not feel the, the sexual, sexual energies from that that help. beautiful colors? Because I do. Help. Help. It's completely help. normal to say that. Everyone who's confused, you need to look at the art. And help. You need to look at the art and you need to feel it in your soul and you need to look deeply into my eyes and... Um, <laughs> back up, you're too close. This went the wrong way. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like you like that. What's up, Reader1999? I'm sorry for you. Unfortunately, this stream cannot be read. It must be viewed. It's a video. Oh! If you like reading, check the top left corner. Broadcast inbound on the bottom right. Hi, Dolby. It is sexy. It is sexy. Hi, Platy Cat. Dolby says hi to you, too. He got groomed today. Uh, he's very soft and silky. What's up with me? I thank you, Home Jibo and East of Hollywood. Forty-four of them. In the audition. Um, I've been working on the Breaking Bad video. That's in progress. Um, well, in progress. However, still long ways from being done. Cat, 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 cat. Two nine five. Thank you. 
Cat Cat, you are one of the the oldest heads I know whose name I see the most. You're you're up there. So thank you so much for sticking with me. Shouts out to Cat Cat. They've been around since like 2018. Yeah, like since the earliest days. If you're an old head, if you by chance got a first next to your name, you are real as fuck. Yo, Alfred, what's up? Does anyone have a syringe they can inject me with full of healing drugs that will get rid of this cold or whatever this is? I hope it's not COVID. Penis. Whatever's happening to me. I don't think it's COVID because I don't leave my house very much. <laughs> At least not lately anyways. Um, so it, honestly, if this is COVID, if this sick that I'm a, that I am that I'm developing right now is the first time that I've had COVID, that's fucking wild. Because like I don't know how that would have happened. I, like I, I genuinely don't know how the fuck. I've gotten COVID twice despite masking. You'd be shocked, dude. Well, here's the difference. I do wear masks, but like I don't. I haven't. T today I went and did uh, errands and stuff, but like. I, I, w I had felt like a little bit of like, oh, something's going on in my nose or something. Like, I felt that this morning. Like, and also, going out, I wouldn't have picked up COVID and then immediately felt it coming home. Like, the. It couldn't have been from today. And prior to that, I literally could not tell you the last time that I saw someone. So I don't think it's COVID. It's probably just some other shit. Um, but we'll see tomorrow. Maybe sinus infection? No. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it sucks and it's making me tired. Um, and I'm bleeding from all holes, all pores. I'm soaked in red blood. It's a horrible disease that will end my, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Stackman X, what's up? Yo, Stackman, Stackman. I'm talking to you cause Stackman, you know what I associate with you in my head? Rumbleverse. Rumbleverse. That's a name you haven't heard in a while, because that game's been dead, because Epic Games killed it! You know what's going on with Rumbleverse? There's a fucking private server. It's not- you can't play it yet. Because it's like- it's still- it's still in like heavy development. But, uh, they figured out- they've got it working to the point where they can spawn in, they can fight very stupid bots, and they have very limited online connectivity. Um... So they're figuring that shit out. Uh, they're it's it's on the way. I don't know how public that's gonna go. I I don't know. Like who knows? Maybe the, maybe they'll hit a hang up at one point and it fails, and I'll never get to play it. But someone's trying, and that's really cool. Um, I, that's called Project Ko. If you wanna uh, look into that and see the videos, it's on YouTube. It's Project Ko. One word. Scorby showed me that last night, and I was like, whoa, whoa. One million player server? Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if just like some some random people that love the game could do something as crazy as that. Thank you, like CJ LX. So chat, don't tell me anything about it. Honestly, I'm gonna add I'm gonna add in the title. Spoilers and backseat equal ban. So don't you dare. Um the especially backseating. Backseating messed up my hypnospace streams. That, but that, that was long before 99% of you were here. That was when I was even, like, smaller. But I, I had some major backseating, and I was like, fuck you, I'm turning the stream off. Um, and I still haven't finished that game to this day, despite loving it so much. I've, I've, I went back and played through, like, it's funny. I, off stream, I went back and played through, like, most of the content I had already seen and got distracted. One day I gotta finish this shit, because it's amazing. And there's a new one coming out. I gotta, I gotta beat that. I gotta beat it. Um, the... I was gonna ask. So yeah, don't spoil me or nothing. Who here has played this game that we're gonna play tonight? And if you haven't, don't say no. Don't say no, because that just floods the chat with like a bunch of information that I don't need to know. I know a lot of you haven't played this game. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 you, you, you. You. Thank you for all the hours of entertainment. It's really good. Cool, cool, okay. Oh, this song's getting me in the mood. This song's getting me in the mood to scream. Ah! Oh, a pole is so smart. My mods are intelligent, unlike me. Grim Melody, thank you so much. What? Ooh. Ooh. This makes me want to play Silent Hill 3, but that's not the game we're here to stream tonight. That will be streamed one day. <laughs> it's been a while since we did that. How cold has Texas been? Uh, earlier this week, 
it was a bit frozen. Um, we didn't have any like precipitation, so uh, luckily it was not catastrophic, but it was cold. Do you and it's pretty cold today. Um, but that's why I'm wearing socks. Maybe that's why I'm sick from walking around out there with the with the doggy. Uh, famous Guzzi place. Thank you so much for the 100 banana coins. It got to the negatives where I live in Texas. Subscribe to me, please. You didn't please no. To me. Please, no. Please. Yeah, yeah. It's it's been cold. I We're we so getting scared. cold snaps. You dog pets. Of course I get the dog pets. The fuck you think I am? People come into my chat. They're like, Wayne, do you feed your dog? I don't know if the streamer gives a. I don't know if the streamer gives his dog food. And to be honest, I'm concerned. Scary. What's really scary is that. Mompasaurus, thank you so much. But yes, I, I I appreciate the concern. I do pet him. And he, if he had it his way, all of you could pet him too. But that's not how this. That's not how any of this works. If any of you appeared at my house, I would be very upset, and it would not go. It would not be pretty. It would not be pretty. The apples, thank you so much. The apples underscore. Now listen, you would leave with your life. You would. I would not. I would not take any of your lives, not a single one of you. But if you did show up at my house unannounced, it's shaping up, or even announced, because not setting that terminology there means that like you could text me, uh, you could find my phone number somehow and text me and be like, "Yo, I'm coming to your house, man," and that's technically announced, not invited. But if you showed up. Oh, you're gonna feel the hurt. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna taste the pain. Minus seven hundred parasocial points. <laughs> I am safe. Ketterink, you are safe, and I'm gonna make you safer with my home safety. It's funny, you know. I, I, I brought up that topic of of y'all coming to my invading my house, and I didn't even remember that we're playing the home safety game today. There is a game what a coincidence! Thank you, James, for the raid. What is up? I hope you all had a fun stream because now you're here to see. Uh, uh, evil and dark stream. Beatcake, thank you so much. Um, what is happening? We're chatting! It's the pre-stream! We're having a good time! We're gonna be playing a game soon. But for now, I wanna talk to you guys, because I haven't seen y'all in a minute. And who knows, tomorrow I might be so sick that they're gonna have to wrap me up like a mummy. And, like, and I'll just, I won't be able to move for ten weeks, because I'm so sick from the flu or whatever. I have the flu and COVID shot, so hopefully it's not any of that stuff. Have you played this video game? No, 95% votes. Months. Well, that's only a chunk of you. That's not everybody. And that's so um, But yeah, my my stupid ADHD ass wrapping back around to what I was talking about like 10 minutes ago. Um, what I've been up to is making the Breaking Bad video. Uh, I have a, a couple of editors who are helping me with that. So far, technically only one, but that's because my own progress has been limited. Um, we're gonna gather to finish that for you. Still cannot decide. Oh, um, Len, I actually figured that out. The I, I've I've beaten that at this point. I've defeated it. Um, the now it's just a matter of like doing it. Uh, I feel so stuff. safe. But shouts out to those editors who are helping me uh, and going to be helping me. I still can't figure out whether or not I want to make that like one big video or do staggered releases. To be honest, I could put out like I have like 11 minutes. Like I, I have more than that edited at this point. But there's like there's like 10, 11 minutes or so that is essentially the content of what like the Breaking Bad pilot would be. And like, I kind of want to upload that and be like, yo, Breaking Bad VR, but AI, parentheses, pilot, Aka part one. Wow, someone was excited. I didn't see who that was. Um, but the issue is like figuring out the pacing for the videos. Cause I, I worry then that like, if, if I put it out in chunks that there's gonna be one chunk that's like not that entertaining, you know? That's that's the issue is that like I, I do think there's a couple parts in that video where it's like you need to see what's happening to to like understand where it's going. I mean, I guess if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, you need it. If you have, it doesn't fucking matter because it's just it's just like very barely strung along series of events. Um, it's a challenge to edit. It's a challenge. It's it's a it, it is very difficult. But I'm figuring it out um, and to make up for the long release because I wanted this out like soon close to the stream. Um, we have a special stream planned that's related. It's not behind the scenes. Um, the, uh, it's, it's in a, it's in a similar vein. I don't want to say too much about that, but it's a very special stream. 
that's gonna that, that that has a decent amount of work going into it that we've been we've been building up towards with some fun surprises um it's gonna be fun it's gonna be good time better call saw ai i mean hey if we did that it would have to be like the same fucking map like because we don't have the time that map took like a long ass time to make that was a long fucking project making rp albuquerque i mean it wasn't me who made it that was my wonderful mappers um the uh it was that was a long endeavor making a better call saw map like it takes place in the same place i'm thinking about like if that map was to be modified to work for better call saw you would need like what would you even do with that? Of soup. I guess you would just need like office buildings and like a couple houses, but otherwise it, it's the same, right? Otherwise, I think you could make it work. <laughs> I, like, I don't know. Hi, Vinette, thank you. Um, but yeah, I've been working on that. I've been playing Maple Story. If you watch Trogs RTVS Lives, you saw me on there. I found another private server that I've been playing on. Can't tell you what it's called because the last one got murdered, and now I have to be secret about it. Um, but that's been fun. Uh, I've been playing a game I can't tell you nothing about. Can't tell you anything about it, literally, legally, but it's pretty cool. Um, I'll, I'll be able to talk about that at some point. Uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Are you still planning on playing Suck Up? Yeah, I want to. I played a little bit off stream and honestly, like, saw a couple things where I was like, eh. So safe, eh. Five now. No but maybe, inches. maybe. So God we'll see, we'll see, God we'll see. Um, the better bit, thank you. Six years? Shit! Did I, I think I said I think I, I said that we were gonna do Wayne Remembrance two for six, but I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Six or seven? It has to be six or seven, because those are both like six is twice the number of the last time we did one of those. But seven is a pretty swag number. That's a pretty fucking cool number. Did you beat Baldur's Gate three? Yeah, we beat that a long time ago. That game's awesome. That game was sick. Um, have I been playing anything else off stream? Free Palestine. No, literally just Maple Story. Free Palestine. 100%, absolutely. 1000%. 10,000%. That shit needs to. God. Y'all, I mean, I'm sure y'all know all I about it. Just call that lock. <sighs> Free Palestine. Twitch Eyes, thank you so much for Prime Gaming. I'm waiting for people to get upset and say to get one with the stream. What? What do you mean? I don't know. Anyways, who's ready for some video games and who's ready for me to be trapped inside the computer? Let's do it. Let's go inside. And let's get digitized. Hello, I'm Wayne Radio TV coming to you from beyond the stars, from beyond the net. I'm in the computer and I'm going to be on the computer because the only way that you can play this kind of game is from within, from within the monitor. Datafract, thank you so much. Please subscribe to me, okay? Because I want subscribers and comments, okay? So please, please, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to reduce the volume of alerts severely because this is a game about getting scared, you know? How are we going to get scared when my ears are going ring, ring, ring all the time? Uh, to begin playing the video game, we have to open it. So we're going to do that. I did already open it previously. Thank you, Blush and Peach. Uh, but it needs to... Oh, whoa! Yo, whoa! You see my game? Game. There we go. Is there an intro sequence that I missed? Nope, here it is. That was extremely loud, I'm certain. So I'll go ahead and turn that down for all of y'all right now. Um, Just a bit, just a bit. I don't know if this is gonna have like jump scares or nothing, but I'm guessing not. This seems more like an atmospheric thing. Honestly, who knows? I, I don't even know how scary it is. This might not even be a little bit scary. I, I saw the word horror, but I don't know. Anyways, let's just go ahead and see what's going on. Yo, Adam Tick, thank you. You made the doggy dance. And if you're saying in chat right now that it's scary, I don't want to know. Like, why would I? Why would I want to? Oh, oh, 
What happened to me? Oh, I got a, a data virus. That was that was freaky. Sometimes some chroma key might eat my my skin. Hold on, let me disable that. There's no need for chroma key when I'm just like sitting in the green darkness. Uh, we do not need that. I don't like well, that background's green, but it doesn't matter. I don't matter even a little bit. Scared? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet. I'm so scared because I don't even know if this game is scary. Uh, welcome to my computer. It is April 24th, 1996. I will be born in five months. <laughs> and five months before my birth, you know, I guess I did exist at this point as like a, a fetal. And then I, a computer virus was made in my image, what I would look like 27 years later. Um, and uh, this computer was plugged into another computer and was told, do this fucking home safety shit. I don't know what it even is. Let's watch TV. I hate death and injury. Is the volume okay? Compared to me? Yeah, it must be. Metamorphosis. Don't become a statistic. Call the home safety hotline and keep your family safe. You still have intro music playing? No, I don't. That's the game. <laughs> That's the, the sometimes video games, they have music. If you need our help, call 555 home safety and maybe I'll help you. What's in my mail? Welcome. Oh, double load. Oh, oh, that's cute. That's cute. Chat, have you never read an email before in the year 1996? That's how they used to load. And while I hadn't been born yet, it's legit. Welcome to the Home Safety Hotline family. We are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new Home Safety Hotline responder. Roll. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you today to brief you on your duties and will be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. Sincerely, HSH Corporate. What, they're emailing me about my videos, my video files. Attention call team, due to an error with our archival network, some of you may notice video files from our video archive appearing on your desktops. Please disregard these. They will be cleared up in due time. Sincerely, HSH Corporate. Well, I mean, it's my computer. If I want video, I have video. Y'all want coupons? Who likes savings? I know if you watch the fan game or funfair stream that you will love savings. And you all will fucking... You, you all will you eat a shovel of dirt for a one penny off your product. And me too. Let's go. Home safety hotline. I love Monday. Ah! This is nice. I'll clock in. I love to work. Our man, the sheep. Thank you. Thank you. Can you talk to them? Oh, we're getting a call. Oh shit. Hold on. I'm like, I'm like listening to you guys when the fucking like this is a real time job. These are real people. Connect to me. I can you hear my? Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Okay. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. That sounds super easy. So we just gotta learn and communicate. There's only two steps. Holly Hollow, thank you so much. Okay, so chat, who's ready to learn all about the dangers of life and all the things that can kill you in your house? Bed bugs, can they kill you? I don't know. So we gotta remember this shit. Oh, this is gonna be a hard game for me. Unless it's like, oh, dude, I'm reading about bed bugs. I'm not ready for you. I haven't learned anything. John. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. 
It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coffin to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Uh, hold, please, please hold, hold, sir. What? Oh, that was me talking. Okay, so I talked to them with a robot's voice. Thank you, the audience. Um, well, I mean, just from my real life experience, that's roaches. Roaches leave dirts in the kitchen. They're small insects known to be common household pests. Homeowners with a cockroach infestation commonly report seeing droppings that appear similar to coffee grounds. Hey, how'd you, you, that's exactly what he said. Man, look at all these. Maybe you've got ticks. You got ticks in the kitchen? Ew. Yucky. Termites are small insects known for consuming decaying plant material. Could be. Could be. Sir, you've got roaches. You've got kitchen roaches. Johnny. Oh, right. That's his voice. My wife, I have Johnny, your answer. My wife John, shut up. Insisted. John, I know. I call this number. Quiet. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps... <laughs> All right. Good job. And I, I assume we were right. Anna Tara, thank you so much. Hmm, reading this around, maybe there's something, maybe, what if we were wrong? We don't know. Let's read about bees. Bees could attack, audio sample. Make my home safe. Just in case. Just in case we don't know that, that's really funny. Bees are small matriarchal flying insects. No, no, no. Stop it! I don't even have time to learn. I thought I was gonna have to like memorize these, but. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, e e e e you know, it, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. I remember the jack down the Thank you, Rotten Witch. Yeah, yeah, you're you're an old head. You know what's up. That was a fucking minute Please ago. Please hold. Please hold. Um, well, it could be mice. That sounds to me, in my intelligent brain that I've had since I was a baby, that that's mice. Does your does this sound like e e e? That sounds like e e e to me. The sound of squeaking. And they're pitter pattering up in the ceiling. But what if it's moles? Aww! Aww, so cute! That's what a mole sounds like. Did you know? It's mice, ma'am. You got mice! Congratulations. She always wanted mice. I know her. Previously known as, thank you so much. This is so fucking easy. Raccoon. Oh, they're so cute. Everything's cute except ticks. They don't like fucking God. Hank here. Yeah, Hank! Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. So, sir, you have... It's pooping in your yard? Something is making large poops in your yard. Sounds like bees. What happens if I just lie? Do I get fired? I guess I'm just... It's just for the coupon. Wayne is cutting out a bit? It is cutting out a bit? What? Chat, do you... No, what the hell is that... What the hell is that person talking about? Hmm. Dude, I get one guy so fucking easily. Like... Like, extru like, literally, always. I guess it's just a phenomenon across all of Twitch. There's a reason there's a term for it. Literally, you look over, someone's telling a lie into my eyes. And I receive it and I believe it. Because I'm a believer. And I trust everyone. Forever. Yarn from space, thank you so much. The king of one, guys. Okay, chat. To those of you who watch more than one streamer, do I get one guide more than your average streamer? 
who like those of you who are very seasoned Wayne Radio TV veterans have been here for a while. No, yes, no. Well, that didn't doesn't matter. Why do I ask questions to a chat like this ever? I'll never get an answer. If it's yes or no. I do see some yeses. It's good to at least know that maybe. Rude? It's not rude. It's just literally like, okay, some people say yes, some people say no. I could just make that up. I could just look at a chat of my own brain, my own imagination machinations. I'll just make you all up in my head. We've got real chat over here on monitor two, and on invisible monitor three, it's my chat Tolpa that can answer any yes or no question with a, about a 50 50 split every time. Anyways, who's pooping in your yard? Are gophers taking shits? Gophers are small, brown, furry animals with large front teeth that are known for living in burrows. They can become a pest to homeowners when they choose to burrow on their property, commonly damaging gardens. Are they taking... Well, is he talking about dirt? I mean, he's saying crap, but like... So they could poop, but they would... You know, the, bur the gophers are going to burrow. That's going to leave dirt. Mole, do you poop big? Moles are persistent and cannot usually be persuaded to leave on their own. However, moles can be trapped and removed manually using a variety of common humane mammal traps. Warning, never kill a mole. <laughs> Raccoon. Are you pooping? Who's shitting? I need to find a shitter. Their feces can contain deadly parasites. That doesn't say they're leaving big shits. These aren't pooping. Those are tiny bugs. So it's either raccoons. It's gotta be raccoons. Nothing else here can shit <laughs> massively. Is it poop? It might be dirt. I don't know if it's poop or dirt. It's probably dirt. Wait, everything poops, but not giant. Whoa, Nisok Tango, thank you so much. Oh yeah, you do know my address. Well, shit. I can think mean for that. Oh. Which one of you be pooping? I'm going to assume that it's dirt. So I'm going to say gopher. I'm going to say gopher. What message? I feel good job. Well, the automated message says I did a pretty good job. What's wrong in the chat? Why do we need a pinned message? Is something going wrong? That sounded different. He didn't describe a sound. It was just it was just poop. Oh, is it Hank? Sorry, Hank. Whoa. Uh, Twig segment here. Just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running loud. Oh my god, it's fucking Longmont Potion Castle! Better head on over and catch it, big fella. It's not literally him, but that is 100% what that's supposed to be. I don't think that was him anyway. Well, uh, goodbye. My refrigerator is right where it needs to be. Running wild. Yeah, the, and, and it literally, it like pitched up. Is the refrigerator on here? I have no information about that. Hey, bro. Would anyone like to call me? I know everything already, so I'm the perfect guy. Housefly. Oh, they heard me. Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Man, 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 man. <laughs> Stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? <laughs> um, please hold. No. Submit answer no. Do we have a? Uh, do we do we have um uh, a lawn mowing service? Who can mow your lawn, bro? I don't, I don't have a. No. No. 
Uh, you've got moles. The moles will do it. Oh, wait, it's cause his kid was sick. Shit, I forgot about that. And he's got tall grass. It was ticks. Oh! Fuck. Well, 50% uh, accuracy. That's not very good. So I think I got the piles of poop wrong. And I got the ticks wrong. Shit, I was just trying to say no to him. Whatever. I'm clogging out. Just pay me. I did a good enough job. Oklahoma, thank you so much. Undersoil check complete. Who is mailing me? Mike three. Quit before it is too late. Yo, you don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are Nindanger. Quit today before it's too late. Oh, you don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. To suit me. Fuck you, Mike three. I don't like this tone. I don't like that guy. Delete save. That sounds pretty cool. What if we do that? No start menu. Let's just go do my job. Let's get our money and log off. Copyrighted dad. Yo, another old head. Shouts out. Maybe this guy got fired because he types like that. Well, typing's not part of the job. I haven't had to type once. This is a clicking job. Lesbian Amanda Young, thank you so much. Let's clock in. With my magic click. With my magic click, a guy like me can buy and play and work. Do I have new information? No, I don't know anything. Call me, I'll tell you about bed bugs, bees, black mold, mice, moles, house spider, house what? Oh, that's a nice sound. Volcano shaped mounds. Maybe it was moles. Hello, it's Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside oh, well, of HSH. That's if you no diagnose good. one of these hazards, Stream we will be over. providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. You're welcome. Permissions have been updated. New entries available now. House fires. House fires are rapid combustion reactions that can occur inside a home. They are often caused by accident when cooking or on purpose by more malicious household pests. What? Homeowners affected by house fires commonly report the smell of burning. House fires can cause severe damage to a human skin, such as burns. Please subscribe to me. It's Hank. Hey, That's strike two with you people. Oh, shit. First you tell me I messed up. Nothing. Then you send me the wrong information. <laughs> I did what your info package said to do, and now there's even more critters in my yard. They're all staring at me now. They want me to. They want me to climb inside the tunnel. <laughs> I, I must go inside. I must pay for my sins. Okay. Well, that guy's dying. I guess it was moles. Do mole? If there's a tunnel, it's probably moles. It wasn't fire. Ooh, fires can produce carbon monoxide, which is deadly to humans. As such, as removal from a home should be made an immediate priority. Sorry, I'm uh, uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Please. Hold. What's wrong with your lungs? I'll tell you. You've got a pipe growth. Whoa. Pipe growths are a type of fungus that are known for making homes inside damp, tube-like structures such as pipes. Pipe growths often grow slightly larger than the pipes they inhabit. Pipe growths are known to attempt to eat anything that comes inside their domain. Most commonly, accidents occur when a human child attempts to reach their hand inside their home. Do not attempt to reach your hand inside an active pipe growth home. They are otherwise harmless to humans. 
Well, that's not gonna affect his breath. That's a pipe. Stair slug? Oh, shit. Stair slugs are large, dog-sized slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Homeowners infested with stair slugs commonly report a slimy residue on steps or other household inclines. Stair slugs can be beneficial to a household as they frequently feed on other pests such as mice and hobs, but the slimy residue they leave behind can lead to dangerous accidents and slippage if not properly cleaned after. Should you wish to remove a stair hug from the household, one can simply surround the affected stairway with a thick barrier of salt. Do not attempt to apply, apply its salt directly after the slug has dehydrated itself you can dispose of its body. Okay, so this is probably pipe hob. It's freezing here and I just want to watch the stream in a warm bed without ants. Thank you. Falls beat. False beets are creatures with a beet-like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves among their vegetables. False beets are harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they will take root in the human stomach, feeding off its nutrients for its lifetime. This can cause digestive issues and potential back problems over the course of the human's life. Hmm. <laughs> if you do not wish to contend with false beets, it is advised to avoid growing beets. <laughs> Common hob. Who are- whoa. Common hobs are the most common species of hob found in the household. They are small humanoid creatures with gray burlap-like skin and small vertical tufts of hair on their head. They have no false face. They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances found on floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come out at night. Hobs are not dangerous to humans on their own. If provoked, however, they are capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. Hobs cannot be compelled to leave on their own once nested in a home. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of cream or milk. Cellar growths. Whoa. You got fucking stalks in there. Large species of fungi that are known to grow in a dark, damp environment such as cellars. They commonly grow on ceilings. Their weight can often cause duress to a home's foundation. Carbon monoxide. <laughs> Sound? Well, chat, now you know what to listen for in your own homes. If any of you have that problem. Yo, Veeps. Okay, this guy is not... This Carbon monoxide would not be making him sneeze. I'm guessing it's black mold? That would make sense. He's talking about his ventilation system, though. Allergic reactions or breathing problems. Yeah. What he talked about, though, was a little bit like not exactly black mold stuff talking about the ventilation but i don't think anything else here could cause these issues unless desk cobs make you sneeze look at him they do not bear a false face they're not dangerous if left unprovoked they're also capable of metamorphosing well sir i'm gonna say you've got black mold in your home it's good word Bed teeth. Don't like that. Bed teeth are a rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the underside of bed sheets, blankets, or comforters. Homeowners infested with bed teeth often report mild discomforts when sleeping, such as tickling or itching. Bed teeth are not directly harmful to most humans given their brief sleeping schedules. However, they tend to gradually grow sharper over time if left untreated, which can lead to infections and the open wounds they cause. Yucky. Tim. Sorry, man. I didn't know why you were calling me. I was trying to tell you off. I don't do mowing lawns. You had ticks. I realized that a minute too late. Tim is dead. Sorry. Bed teeth sound bad. I don't want bed teeth. Chad, I don't want it. Hello, welcome to phone. Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? Ma'am, you have the common house hob. I don't, I don't even need to hear this shit. It's from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Ma'am, you got a hob. Please hold. It's hob time. 
Where was it? Common hob. You've got a common hob. He's eating your dirt. And he sounds like this. He sounds just like that. So anyways, you have the hob. Get some cream. They put it down. Uh, common hob. I can't believe she didn't know about the hob. I would have I would have known what to do. I wouldn't have had to call this number. But that's because I work this job. That I don't have problems. We busy. You again! Yo, Buzz Goober here. I've been having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and whooping and crying all over the place. Just all over the place I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? <laughs> Called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. <laughs> I am loving, I, I, I am loving the, the long mod, the long mod tribute in here. That is fucking awesome. Is it a fracture hob? Oh, this hob looks creepy. Wait, he didn't even ask for help. I could have helped you. That sounded like a real problem. I thought he needed me. But he, he doesn't. He doesn't need me at all. Uh, Hello. Hello. You've reached home security hotline. I... I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please. Okay. Well, please you're, you've are been rather vague. That sounds like that could be simply a carbon monoxide. We have all kinds of problems. That could be that could be some termites. What is biting at the beds? Is it the fracture hob? Let me read this one that we were just on. There are subspecies of hob that are known to cause cracks and fractures in the walls of the homes they inhabit. They are physically similar to other hobs in stature and size, with the exception of generally longer, wilder hair locks. They also bear a false face. Mm, not you. You're not who's bothering her. Frozen pipes. Frozen pipes do suck. We got those down here in Texas. Mine have not frozen this year. Hopefully they won't. They did last year. Bat! Who's biting her bed, though? Oh, that's cute. Bats are a general term for a variety of species of nocturnal flying mammals. Bats can be identified by their usually large ears, wings, and dark fur. Bats most commonly find their way inside the home during their hibernation period before winter. Homeowners with a bat infestation will commonly report sounds of scratching or flapping at night and sightings of small, dry pellet droppings. Bats are more dangerous than most household pests given their ability to fly, bite, and spread diseases, such as rabies. They also have commonly associations with the ones above the soil, increasing the potential danger significantly. What? They also commonly have associations with the ones above the soil, increasing... I don't know what that means. Um, what is biting... Which hob bites a damn bed? Is it you? They tidy their homes... What do they sound like? So they're crunchers. Uh, something crawling in the walls and teeth marks on the bed post. See, I mean, there's bed teeth. That That is a trick. That's a trick. Cause that's just like a fungus that's growing on your blankets. It wouldn't be biting your the it wouldn't be biting the fucking the bedposts, you know? Raccoons, are you biting bedposts? Are you like in the house? That's usually an outdoors thing. But there have been known to be raccoons in the house. That's happened before. I remember seeing a video of like of like someone who just like had a hole in this like Burnt, like broken down ass house where just raccoons would just like come into the kitchen and hang out. So it's a, somebody in the chat said termites, but like you can't hear termites.
And also, a termite biting your bed legs, you would not... That wouldn't look like teeth marks to you. Unless Michelle is, like, a, a little dumb, but, you know... Uh, can't be a pipe hob. This has nothing to do with pipes. Who would bite the bed? It might just be mice. Gnaw marks. That is the that's the one hint that I found here that, that lines up with what she's talking about. And mice do be crawling in the walls. Honestly, lady, it, it's mice. It's mice. It's mice, and she's so scared. <laughs> she's so afraid, but it's mice. Um Hold on, let's take a look at uh cellar growths one more time. What does this sound like? Yeah, it's mice. I think mice is the only thing here that, uh... That lines up. You've got mice, Michelle. You've got mice. Easy. I've had mice before. I know what it's like. It never had me like that. I mean, it's not fun. It sucks the most when if you ever if you ever like spot them when they're like running around. That's like, ugh. gives you heebie-jeebies. But I don't call the home safety hotline and I cry. I I only cry if Hobbs show up, but not mice. Yeah, Cheese M Dodger. Yeah, if you follow the Cheese M Dodger saga of Scorpy streams, you y'all know y'all know what's up. Oh shit. This better not be Buzz Goober. Oh, it's Fred. Yeah. Hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds like scratching or something. Real quiet, so definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've set out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. Hmm. Really quiet scratching, but no droppings. It's just a quiet scratching. And there's no damage or droppings. Please hold. So I think this is something... I think he's confused. This might be frozen pipes. What does that sound? I mean, maybe he would say something's like cold. What does that sound like? Yeah, no, it wouldn't be frozen pipes because he'd be reporting like something else. What about a pipe growth? What does that sound like? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a scratching. Okay. Um. Hmm. Sir, please hold. I'll have your problem solved in a minute. I don't think it's cellar growths. Do bed teeth make a noise? No. Could it be frozen pipes? Wouldn't he have noticed other issues? And also, it's April. Why would he have frozen pipes? Pipe hob? Oh! He knocked over a bowl. Hmm. What would cause no damage? make a noise uh, can't be a spider that doesn't make any sense it's a it's fire <laughs> sir your house is on fire and you need to get out now hmm fracture hob leaves visual vis visible damage He's not seeing damage. He's only hearing a little bit. I really feel like frozen pipes is the only one that makes sense. But like, I'm using clues that are not in here to to like take that out. Mole? No, it wouldn't be mice because like mice specify that you're gonna see. He sees no droppings. He sees he put out traps and they didn't work. Well, you know, okay. Let, let's let's focus on what he says about 
all kinds of traps, and I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. What did it say? There was something about desk hobs and, and breadcrumbs. You could call that scratching, maybe. And it says... They cannot be removed to prevent further danger. Measures to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. It's advised to leave breadcrumbs on the desk each night. No, because that's the desk specifically. It's not the walls. Is he carbon monoxide poisoned? Wait, 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 wait. Are you right? Hold up. I don't think there's anything like it could make you hear things. I don't think so. Like, it could, but it doesn't say that. And, like, in the context of the game, we need to, like... I, I, I'm assuming we shouldn't be taking things we assume outside of the text that we're reading right here. The answer's in the text. Yeah, no, that's... If, if, it not leaving droppings and no visible damage is the thing that makes this really tough. Uh, You've got false beats. <laughs> It really might be frozen pipes. Brad, how cold are you? It's real quiet. Definitely some kind of pest. Set all kinds of traps and thought one worked, but then started hearing it again. Thankfully, haven't seen any visible damage left. Uh... The entry for common hob. It'd be weird if it was a common hob. That seems to be like. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be a common hob. Because that's like. The common hob is in the corners of your house. It's not in the walls, you know? Maybe the hobs are trapped in the walls. Common hobs seem pretty innocuous. Yeah. Yeah, they just clean up. Unsure if hob can fit in the walls. Yeah, I don't know either. Hmm. Um. Can't be a fly. Could it really be mice again? It's just he hasn't. Let's read. No. No, it couldn't be. Do you have a sound for stair slugs? It can't be. It can't be. This is hard. This is difficult. I'm really, literally the only one that I'm leaning towards is frozen pipes. A bunch of garters the inside of their place at home with an assortment of meat juices and insects. Place their place at home near one of the pipes openings and leave it overnight. No, oh, it can't be it. Ants? That's not a that's not one. No, pipe noises is the thing. Well no, these are different. Pipe growth is different than noises. Carpenter ants, carpenter ants? Would carpenter ants not have visible damage? Oh, you know, we just never clicked on this one. It says sometimes report a faint wrestling sound coming from their walls as the ants build their nests. Okay, that's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. I just took forever to click on that. I didn't think that you could hear an ant, but I guess I don't know anything. I guess I gotta read all my books. It's ants. It's gotta be ants. When in doubt, it's gotta be ants. Yeah, no, I'm not mad at anyone for backseating there because I was kind of like working it out with you guys. I didn't know either. Didn't make no sense. I really, I really don't assume that you can hear ants clicking and clacking in your walls and shit. He listening to the motherfucking ants. Do you guys handle security? I need home security. No, this is home safety. Stop into my house and going through all yeah, my right. stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. I need your best home security equipment. Pronto! Please hold. Sounds like you've got a hob. I want to say it's desk hob. 
Yeah, the desk cob be sorting. It's a desk cob. Well, this is just like when I played pajama Sam and our disk drive started screaming. They specified the, 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 the sorting. Well, the common hob just eats dirt and shit. You got a desk cob. We made we made up for our long ass time figuring out that it was ants in his house by the instant desk cob recognition. I know I know my hobs. I know in here. Uh huh. Yeah, we're perfect. We got a coupon. Can I have my coupon? Oh my god, what am I gonna buy? I'm gonna buy a cream of milk for my hobs and breadcrumbs. And I'm gonna buy a new home for Pipe Burster. And I'm gonna watch broadcast of 1995. Hello, movies. The real estate update. Can't afford that. Nine eighty three Barry Lane. The fuck you take me for? That ain't a real address. Huh? Oh. Civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties: Bush County, Maple County. Parkway County, Barry County. Peanut Avenue? <laughs> These people. This is the missing persons alert. Authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person, last seen at approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report any unusual Ooh. activity. Five beds, six bathrooms. Fuck yeah. 12k? I want to live on Barry Lane. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to live on Barry Lane. Well, I know what I'm doing with my paycheck. Let's leak our mail. Look at it. It's two latte latte fro you now. Two lattes. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you. If you end up like me, join me in this hole. Join me in this hole. If they haven't found me yet, it's safe to hear. Wayne in that hole? Phone. Repeat, it's in the phone. Attention call team. Our network team is migrating our backend services to a new hosting provider this week, so you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure you are studying your information entries carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down while you are on the phone with a client. You will still be expected to provide accurate answers to our callers regardless of the network status. Okay. So I'm going to lose access to my entries? Daily coupon? Oh, we got it! Oh, shit! Used horseshoe. Our stock of used horseshoes are as reliable as they are rusty. 90% of our supply are verifiably forged from real iron. Supplies run out quickly, so stock up while you can. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. A great deal for sure. Keep up the great deal, employee. Oh my god, $16.99? Give me, give me. Can I go to the shop? Is there a browser? Well, a great deal for sure. Remember that for me, chat, okay? Because I might have to type that in at some point. Uh, I don't have a damn browser. I'm just going to type. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, that's not like that's not like a cheat code or anything. Maybe we'll have a chance to sp to shop later. I don't know. What is there any Easter eggs or anything on here? Like, can I move stuff around? No, I don't want to click the Discord things. That'll take me to Discord. This is like, this is a, I don't have that program on my computer. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, I do have Discord on this thing. No, I think clicking that will literally like open up my discord and i don't want to do that right now um let's go 
I imagine it's a real Discord. Yo, night three, this game is like five nights. You, you want to know what? I thought the same thing <laughs> when the Monday thing popped up, but I was like, that's too easy. I can't say, yo, is this FNAF? <laughs> I can't do it. Somebody call me. Wait, shit, we gotta, we gotta like read because we need to memorize everything because they're gonna take it all away soon when the network goes down. Shit. Wait, what? Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential Thanks, and sir. not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Thank you. All right, we learned about everything. Bogart! Bogart? There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Okay. I was gonna say cellar growth, but... The steps creaking under its weight. Like, I mean, it said the cellar growth would like pull and creak on the ceiling, but the, the way that this person's describing it, David, it's always lurking just out of sight from the top of the stairs. So you're, you're standing at the top of the stairs, you're looking down, like it might be something new. Let's read Please hold. Is it a bogger? Boggart is the general term for a metamorphosed hob. They are large, hairy humanoids between six to seven feet tall, and bear fairly convincing false faces. They are known for causing household accidents such as floodings, fires, or electrical outages. They are also frequently observed their targets while they sleep. Boggarts are extremely dangerous to humans and pets due to their malicious nightly household activities, which can often cause injury or death. They also really act very violently when seen by humans, but thankfully these instances are rare as they excel at staying hidden. Do not under any circumstances refer to an active boggart by its name. Once you become aware of its presence, simply vacate the premises. Provided you do not speak of the boggart at any time, in any fashion, it will remain in its original location. Okay. Um, well, that doesn't say anything about that could match this, except for, um, almost as big as my dog. That's not six or seven feet tall, so that's going to rule that out, even if it's good at hiding. When don't say its name, I don't have a boggart in my house. Unless that's Mike. <laughs> and Mike's in the hole. But he's emailing me. He's probably still chill. False artifact. False artifacts are seemingly human designed objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home. They are known for making gentle buzzing sounds that can usually only be heard by very young human children or small animals. Homeowners with false artifacts often report out of place objects or missing children or pets. False artifacts, while not a direct threat to adult humans, can pose a significant risk to small human children and animals. Should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact, they are at risk of being encased within. Once encased, no noise made by the prey can be heard. While digestion can take upwards of several years to complete, starvation can be a more pressing concern. Once a false artifact has been identified, removal is as simple as physically moving the object out of one's home. Uh, pest removal services should be called to come and remove the object. Should a pet or loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the griefing process. Whoa. That's something. That's pretty cool. I, I see a child's hands inside of it. I like that. I, <laughs> Child's getting trapped in TVs? I like that. I like that quite a bit. I meant I like the storytelling device. <laughs> False rose bushes are large plant-like creatures that most commonly take on the appearance of a red rose bush. In place of roots, these creatures have two small humanoid feet that they use to chase down prey. Homeowners with false rose bushes sometimes report missing pets or children. Oh yeah, look at its feet. False rose bushes pose an incredible danger to homeowners with children or pets. 
As their diet consists of small mammals, and they are known to be fast and efficient hunters. Homeowners without children or pets face a reduced risk, as they cannot swallow whole anything larger than themselves. To remove a false rosebush from a garden they have inhabited, it is advised to keep children or pets from venturing outside within its hunting range for an extended period. This is probably what kidnapped that kid from the from the the real estate thing. Lamp sprite. Lamp sprites are a common subspecies of sprite that make their homes inside lamp fixtures. They are known for causing the lamps they inhabit to flicker or burn hotter, sometimes causing a burning smell in the home. They're not dangerous to humans unless provoked. Do not, under any circumstances, turn off the lamp or attempt to reach your hand inside the lamp when actively inhabited. Okay. Definitely not what we're looking at. Memory Wisp. This will help with the grieving process. No, due to clerical error, the audio sample above provided above is incorrect. This issue will be corrected by the end of the month. It's incorrect. That's not what they sound like at all. They sound like this. Me, 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 me. I know, because I've worked this job. I'm good at this job. Memory wisps are invisible and odorless household wisps that are known for removing memories from the home and its homeowners. Homeowners infested with memory wisps will often report missing pictures, photo albums, and the inability to remember the faces of loved ones. Memory wisps are not a danger to the physical health of humans. However, their ability to affect human memory can sometimes lead to household accidents or reckless activity. Memory wisps will move out of the house on their own once they have stolen away the inhabitants' memories. There is no need for further action. Mirror nymph. Mirror nymphs are a subspecies of nymph that are known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerbys. They are generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror that they beckon others to look into. Homeowners afflicted, afflicted by mirror nymphs commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. Mirror nymphs, although a nuisance, are not a direct danger to humans. Mirror nymphs will wander to different locations provided nobody looks into their mirror. Affected homeowners can restore their likeness by catching the mirror nymph and breaking its mirror with an iron implement. Specifically iron? Tea Sprite. Toilet Hob! Tea Sprites are a subspecies of Sprite that are known to feed off of tea and tea leaf residue. Uh, homeowners infested with Tea Sprites commonly report leaf-like droppings and sounds of fluttering in your kitchens. Tea Sprites are not directly dangerous to humans, but they are known to spread various deadly diseases, including the fatal Fey flu, and should be removed as known as soon as possible. Oh my god, a goddamn toilet hob. They are known for homing inside toilets. They bear false faces and have two separate clumps of wispy hair on each side of their heads. Like most hobs, they tend to clean their homes when they are active at night, keeping the toilet they inhabit nearly spotless. They're not dangerous on their own, but their physical presence within the toilet they have it may result in plumbing problems over time, such as leaks or clogs. Like any other hob, they are capable of metamorphosing. Toilet hobs cannot be removed once they nest. Leave an egg near the toilet each night before going to bed. If you want to cohabitate. I don't know, if I had a hob, I'd just move out. Uh, unicorn fungi. That's a dog! But he's got a mushroom on his head that's giving him a horn. Unicorn fungi are a rare horn-shaped fungus that are known to grow on the heads of furry mammals and household pets. They often affect the animal's disposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Homeowners often report their pets furiously digging around or inside their home. Unicorn fungi are not directly hum harmful to humans, but they can often lead to other household problems such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, or waking up other things beneath the soil. Unicorn fungi will go away after a few months on its own without needing treatment, but can also be treated with cryotherapy or removed surgically. If removal needs expedite, it's like a wart. Bathe your pet, especially after any outdoor activities. Whistling fungi. Show that whistling. It's a mushroom that whistles. If you ever hear them in harm, singing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. Whistling fungi are rarely dangerous to humans, but their growth can cause foundational problems. If whistling fungi ever sing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. Do not return for any reason. Otherwise, whistling fungi can be removed with common weed killers by utilizing HSH's fungal removal services. To prevent a whistling fungi infestation, ensure there are no open cracks in your home. Wine Sprite. Look at that guy. They drink your wine. They have translucent skin that often appears red while they are feeding. They have a long proboscis that they use to drink. Homeowners infested with the wine sprites commonly report broken glasses and their wine having a rotten taste or smell. 
They're not directly dangerous, but they spread the Fey flu. I hate the Fey flu. Uh, they're baited with wine. That seems pretty easy to deal with. Okay, we've read all the new ones. Uh, you got something in your basement. Doesn't hiss or growl. Almost as big as your dog. It's always lurking just out of sight from the top of the stairs. Hmm? Oh, that's nice. Cellar growth? The sound of dripping or stretching? No, it, it, this thing is walking. This thing is making footsteps. Let's listen again to David. There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gone close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. It's big. So it's not, it can't be a hob. But six or seven feet tall wood secretions. Was this there before? Wood secretions are a pink viscous fluid liquid substance. Fluid liquid substance that can sometimes form from wood that has been mistreated. It is known to drip from wooden materials such as furniture or walls, causing a sticky pooling buildup. Wood secretions can be deadly to humans, causing a rapid translation of flesh if ingested. Keep animals and human children away from secretions at all costs, as its foul odor will be interpreted as sweet candy-like smell to them making them particularly susceptible to accidental ingestion. Wood secretions will continue indefinitely to remove the hazard from a home. The offending wood should be replaced entirely. To prevent wood from entering the secretion stage, ensure good care is taken towards wood in the home. Refrain from scratching, knocking, or banging on wooden surfaces. Do not ever insult or shout at wood. Okay, I never will do that. I definitely, definitely never bang on this desk, ever. For no reason. Um... This is a tricky one. Because I feel like Boggart fits all the things, and it's literally at the bottom of the stairs here. But it's six or seven feet tall. And she says almost as big as her... as his dog. Does he know? No, I don't. Go back see me. I'm trying to figure it out. Dogs can be big. Maybe it's on its front forward flat legs <laughs> maybe it's four legged it's tall like like a dog would be six or seven feet tall if it's like a great dane david sir what how big is your dog <laughs> i need more information i wish i could talk to this person Thank you, Roboschism. I don't think I've ever seen a seven foot dog. Have you ever seen a Great Dane? And like had it stand up? Seven feet is pretty tall. That'd be a pretty fucking big Great Dane, probably. But like, they can get fucking big. Great Dane isn't seven feet tall. Y'all fucking get learned, read Marmaduke now. They're pretty fucking tall. As someone who's been around a lot of Great Danes, like, if you're if you're counting their height, like, getting on their hind legs, like, putting their paws up, they can be really tall. They can be really tall. Seven feet might be a lot. I don't know. Tail to nose. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking of that when I say seven feet. They're over six feet? Yeah, I mean, I they definitely could be. That's not impossible. I think they're usually around six feet tall standing up. You think you know how big a Great Dane is, then you actually meet one. Yeah, they're they're pretty fucking big. I'm 5'2 and standing on all fours. My friend Dane can rest his chin on my sternum. He's easily seven standing. They're awesome. Yes, like, and yes, like Scooby-Doo. It's just like that. Yeah, it can't be that. The Falls Rosebush wouldn't be in the basement. There, there's no indication of it living in the interior. Hmm. 
What do you got in your fucking house? Could it be a stairs log? Dog sized! Dog sized! And in the basement! Dog sized. You've got slug. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna give it to him. Yeah, so when it said the steps, it was talking about the stairs, not feet. You fucking, listen, I'll talk to y'all. Like, if you guys don't know and you're just kind of like talking amongst each other and you're like, you know, maybe, oh, maybe it's that, maybe it's that. But like, be careful about what you say, you know? I'm not constantly looking and I know like anyone could say anything, but like, Peter! Uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it, along with this uh, nasty smell. Well, you got nasty smells in your house, sir. Well, I have Please this thing for you. I have a book. It's called Pipe Growth. Do they smell? Hmm. No indication of smell. Nasty sound. Hmm? What did you say? Someone said it. Have you started streaming the Neverhood? Nope. I haven't. Uh. See, this guy live in the sink, but... Any indication of a stink? I'm smelling. Okay, what else could be in his pipes? I think it's really just those two. It's not a toilet hob, because this ain't a toilet. Um, I don't think any of these, like, bugs or anything would fuck with pipes. There's got to be a pipe growth. I can't imagine it's anything else. They just haven't mentioned the smell. Musty smell. Well, yeah. Black mold wouldn't be in the pipes causing a sound, though. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking it's pipe growth. Chat, what do you think of pipe growth? Carpenter ants is not fucking carpenter ants! <laughs> My bet is frozen pipes? Frozen pipes don't cause a smell. Well, actually, that's not 100% true. The, the the water that gets stuck in them could be a little stinky. I've had that happen. Whenever I, my, my pipes have frozen a couple times. Actually, I, I probably told this story, but when I first moved into my house, like my pipes froze before I showed up uh, because it was, the, it was the big Texas winter freeze of 2021. And uh, literally like, the 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 week after that ended and they unfroze a huge pipe in my garage exploded and i had like a fucking waterfall luckily it was in the garage and it was just i opened the door and it just went outside but it was it was crazy um the i talked about that on the podcast well now i've talked about it on stream uh it's got to be pipe growth pipe growth wouldn't allow water to get through hold on let me see what you're talking about let's read this over again and listen they clog the pipe indefinitely. Okay, so if they've clogged the pipe indefinitely, then nothing can get through if it's fully clogged, right? Okay, so maybe that's not what it is. The pipe hobble clean and eat the dirt.
tough one. I don't know. Pipe spider. <laughs> I'm trying to think of anything here that indicates a smell. Because that seems to be important. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Frozen pipes may report strange faucet smells. Fuck, I was literally talking about that. I guess you just frozen pipes. The person who says, God damn it, Wayne, why? I just got distracted talking about other stuff. And then we came back to it. Literally, like, the the smell thing is real. I was I was talking about that. When the pipes unfreeze and the water comes through, it's stinky. It's it smells like your gross pipes. My wife. My wife. Oh. Sir, you gotta go into the woods and and hit a lady mirror with a iron stick. Yeah, that that can't be anything else. That has to be that. But she's also dead. Is there anything else that indicated anything like that? No, that has to be. It. Literally steals her fucking face. Memory wisp? No. Wait. They're all gone. The photos? It doesn't say the mirror <coughs> the mirror nymph doesn't say it can kill you. It just takes your face. Yeah, they're not a direct danger. Okay, it, it is memory wisp. Alright, good catch. I almost jumped the gun. That's a, that's a smart one. That is a smart one. That's cool. I'm so sorry, Quaid. That's really sad, but you just got a memory wisp. I think it's house fires. <laughs> the house fire burned away all the photos. Hey, yeah, my name's Fred Pinball. I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business. Up <laughs> I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. Saw at night, putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. <laughs> now, what you gonna do? What you gonna do to make this right? <laughs> that is like, they're they're not being subtle about the reference they're making. I I that's fucking awesome. Why do I never get to help him? He needs help. There's twigs everywhere. What's the reference? Look up Longmont Potion Castle. Uh, hi? I, uh, have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them and Easy. my legs itch like crazy. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so- Please Sir, hold. you've got bed teeth. Your teeth have bed. At least for the network going down, they gave an easy one. Like, that was very easy. Uh, is it gonna stay down, though? Shit, <laughs> we gotta do more. I think we got one more. Hello? I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's PO 
Fracture I'm Hob. I'm not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch. But he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. Please hold. You've got a Fracture Hob. It's making fractures in your wall. Oh, wait, my network come back. Well, I'm almost certain that it is a Fracture Hob. I guess now that I have the information back... It giving it, it giving the network connection back is making me think like in a meta sense like oh shit wait a minute is that too easy is this gonna be like memory with memory with Bamira nymph swap again was there anything else that could make holes in the wall one wall has some cracks or maybe it's peeling. Anything else it could be in? Peeling paint. Hmm. Hmm. Small holes on the drywall. She's specifying cracks, though. And we look at the fracture nymph. Fracture hob. Like, it, there's very clearly a crack. And it's also at the bottom. It's specifically at the bottom. I'm gonna go with fracture hob. I'm going with fracture hob. Ma'am, I think you got a fracture hob. So you should put a piece of cheese on the floor. That's apparently that's what's best for you. Go ahead, so go ahead and do that. Sounds like a house fire to me, says Plague Jester. Yeah, you know, you're always right. I think all of these have been house fires. We're about to get a 0% rating. Are we done? Can I log off? Nope. Gary. Do you think this is some kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room. And the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now uh -oh. probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house, and you figure it out now! <laughs> Please hold. Well, Gary, you got a bogger. And that bogger, he'll kill you. I don't even have to think about that one. You got a bogger. Yeah, whoa. Huh, which one did we get wrong? The fracture hob, maybe? Maybe that was termites. It was termites? Shit. Oh, well. No coupon. It being specifically at the bottom threw me off. That's a really hard one. I, I don't like... I'm not sure what the determining factor was there. Well, we got lots of... We got a new video. We got a new mail. Let's leave our mail first this time. Change of pace. Our new office pet. We're excited to, to show you all of our brand new office pet. It's Whiskers. He's loyal, friendly, and as serious about pest control as we are. Please give Whiskers a warm welcome if you see him wander by your desk. Please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers as he is still getting to know everyone in the office and he has scheduled feeding times. Well, ain't that sweet. Ain't that sweet. That's a beautiful kitty. I love orange cats. That's one of my favorites. Uh, science mysteries. Movie time. Popcorn up, chat. <laughs> Mice, one of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. 
And this is Mus Musculus Loquentis, otherwise known as the Smart Mouse, a newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse, and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. I mean, a mouse what would say that it needs food. Is this a wonder? And it's of like in a wall. Or are we just hearing things that aren't there? Do mice and men have more uh, in common than previously thought? That's pretty normal well, to me. I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. That is quite the science mystery. Time to go to work. You gonna become a mice? No. I'm gonna become a fucking a, a logger or something. What do I learn today? Judging by how many entries we have left, I'm guessing there's like two more nights, maybe? Maybe three? I need to learn though. I already know everything that I can. I know all about Toilet Hob. I've read it six times over. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. I've been watching the closely employee. I'm impressed the... so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more talking like household that? hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon me. Why are you talking like that now? You weren't talking. Travel gnome. You want some? <laughs> He's in a box. Whoa. Whoa. That's one of them interferencia kind of gnomes. That's not like a silly garden gnome. They're highly invasive subspecies. Of kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, it still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't never had any problems up until now. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water, so can you just send someone out to get this fixed for us? Yeah, Please about that. Well, it's not a pipe growth because we know that causes a complete clog. We know it's not a. We know it can't be no fucking pipe pob. That's not a thing. Uh, I want to finish reading about this travel gnome. Travel gnomes can affect the household in various ways. They often create expansive gardens inside their new homes, leaving soil plant and common outdoor pests in their wake. These gardens, in addition to introducing a variety of dangerous pests, can also create foundational problems in a home if they continue to grow unabated. You can kill them with pesticides. No, you deter them. You deter their garden. Okay. What, what other new stuff we got? Attic gnome! It's gnome season! Okay, so they wrap in your, in your attic, and they spew dust out of your vents. The feeding habits can often be a boon to homeowners as they consume dust, cobwebs, and household pests such as spiders in large quantities. When frightened, they will violently expel their meals, which can send large quantities of dust part particulates into the airs, causing air quality issues in the household. They are very easily frightened. Celebrato. Whoa. 
Cellar grottos are large cave-like networks known to sometimes appear spontaneously in cellars and basements. Homeowners with cellar grottos will often report a bad smell coming from the basement, higher humidity in the home, and a notable increase in large beetles, frogs, and related pests. Cellar grottos can be removed by finding their creator and presenting them with a gift of gold. <laughs> the creator often resides somewhere within the grotto's subterranean lake. For safety, bring spelunking and snorkeling equipment on your excursion or consider utilizing HSH's grotto removal team. Bay feast! Feasts are mid to large pile sized. Bleh, mid, mid to large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi. They are known to appear near eating areas of the home. Feasts are not dangerous if consumed, but if left untouched, they can provoke more dangerous activity, or else its continued presence can attract other household pests such as cockroaches or carpenter ants. Feasts are a sign of a hospitable presence, and as such should be consumed immediately once sighted to prevent provoking or offending the gifter. For maximum assured safety, all members of the home should partake in the feast. Make sure your son eats that flower. Hey, flu. We heard about this. Ew! The dangerous disease commonly spread by household fey. Symptoms of fey flu include headaches, fever, eye discoloration, seeds taking root in skin pores, and blooming. Fey flu is rarely fatal, but it can have long-lasting effects on the lifetime health of an affected human. Long-term symptoms may commonly include dizziness, fatigue, monocolored vision, deliriousness, and endless dreams. There is no cure for fey flu. However, one can take precautions against it by keeping a clean, fey-free home. Floor roots. The board. Floor roots are tree-like brown roots that are known to grow upwards from the floor to wrap themselves around various objects or humans in their vicinity. Where's the root in this picture? I'm not really seeing it. Is that it there? And that little thing? Floor roots grow slow enough that they serve very little danger to awake and aware human adults. However, if not spotted quickly, they are a known strangling hazard for human children and pets while they sleep. Removal should be a priority in family households. Floor roots require something to wrap around before they will cease their growth, so it is advised to acquire dolls or a similar human-shaped facsimile to give them a safer alternative. Place the dolls in the affected room and leave the roots alone for the night. By morning, the dolls and roots should be gone and the room safe to inhabit once more. Make any repairs to the floor as needed or utilize HSH's home repair services. The Horde. The Horde is an invisible, odorless collective consciousness that is known to collect and store quantities of common household refuse. The Horde's tendency to store vast quantities of trash in the home makes them prone to spreading disease to the home's inhabitants. Rotten food, used syringes, and rusty metal are among the more common household hazards that can be introduced by the Horde's presence. Once introduced to a home, the Horde will continue to gather and hoard their treasures indefinitely. It is, it is advised to sell one's home at the first sight of the Horde's presence to make the relocation process go over more smoothly. To prevent the Horde from gathering in one's home, it is advised to keep one's home as tidy as possible as to not attract the Horde's attention. The introduction of a hob to the household can often assist in this process. So you want hobs. The good news is I, I want hobs. Laundry gnome. Thick fiber-like fur. They can fold their bodies into various shapes and often resemble dirty towels. <laughs> Homeowners with laundry gnomes often report r loud rattling or banging sounds coming from their washing machine and mixing socks. They, pays, they pose no direct threat to humans, though their lifestyles often lead to broken washing machines or dryers, which can occasionally cause small floods. Water damage can lead to further problems in a home, such as lawn, and as such, laundry gnomes should not be left to their own devices. Laundry gnomes will move on from a home if they are no longer permitted to enter a washing machine. Great care should be taken to inspect each and every piece of laundry before washing. Night gnome. I'm a gnome of the night. Oh, he's in the window. Small hairy creatures with a pointed head. They are known for the tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Homeowners affected by night gnomes frequently report sighting them in the middle of the night or report heavy breathing sounds during late hours. They're not known to be deadly, but those who suffer from heart conditions should consider wearing sleeping masks to prevent being startled by their presence. Night gnomes will move on to other homes if they become bored or restless by your inhabitants' sleeping activities. There is no guarantee, however, that they will become bored by you if they find your sleep sufficiently entertaining. What do they, what do they find cool? What's, like, cool sleep? They want someone that, like, sleep talks or kicks or something? Night wisps are a subspecies of wisps in the form of bright floating lights. They are known to hover outside windows at night while whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. Can you hear a voice in there?
Night wisps are not dangerous to humans unless listened to. Refrain from listening to their whispers and follow their directions. Night wisps will move on to other homes after a week or so if they are ignored, ignored consistently. It is advised to constantly drown out their whispers with music or wear sleeping masks. Portal. Ooh. Portals are door-shaped openings to an outdoor location other than the homeowners, discovered most commonly in basements or underground cellars. Homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. Portals can introduce a wide variety of dangerous elements to a home and should be dealt with as soon as they are discovered. They can additionally cause drafts and introduce heating problems to a home. Portals should be sealed shut. Portals should be sealed shut with wooden planks, bricks, or other common building materials. The seals should be airtight as to not allow anything to come inside the home. It is advised to utilize HSH's home security services to ensure portals are sealed away. Seedling. Looks like dirt to me. That's just dirt. Seedlings are small insectoid creatures about the size of an aphid. They are known for burrowing in outdoor planters or gardens, feeding off the roots of nearby weeds. Though their weed-killing lifestyles can make them useful for gardeners, seedlings are extremely territorial and react violently to anything competing for their food source. Never remove a weed from a seedling-infested garden. They are known to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves or others. Is this the first thing we've seen bolded? So that seems very important. Don't do it. Don't weed. One should not go near their established feeding grounds. Instead, one should use a hose, sprinklers, or similar range devices to overwater or drown out the seedlings from afar. Don't get close. Just and that's everything. Okay. How's it, going? How's it going? Pretty good. I'm liking this game. Shameful. Thank you so much. Um. All right. What did this guy say again? It's been a while since we listened to him. I, have no memory of this place. I think the map is something wrong. I think the map is something wrong with our faucet. I think the map is something wrong with our faucet. I think the map is something wrong with our faucet. I think the map is something wrong with our faucet. I think the map is something wrong with our faucet. I think the map is something wrong with our faucet. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, it still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't ever had any problems up till now. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water, so can you just send someone out to get this fixed for us? So, we were talking about it earlier, and I don't think it can, it can't be either of the ones that are related to pipes. The pipe growth and the pipe hob, neither of these would do anything. So I don't think it's that. Um, I remember the cellar growth saying something about like dripping. Did that like affect the quality of the water? No, 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 no. Cellar grotto. Rusty pipes. It's not frozen pipes. He didn't talk about no sound or smell or nothing. He just thinks that the water is poisoned. And he has a stomach ache. And he's a farmer. The seedlings, did, did the seedlings affect? No. He's eating. Wait! Oh shit! Who's this little guy? Who's this fella? They are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves among their vegetables. They'll take root in the human stomach, feeding off its nutrients for its lifetime. This can cause digestive issues and potential back problems over the course of the human's life. A swallowed false beat cannot be removed without killing its host. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sir, we gotta kill you. I think it's this, though. I'm gonna submit that. That one, it gave, it gave that one to us a long time ago. That was an old one. Damn, man. You shouldn't have ate that thing. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. You gotta die now.
Damn, that's permanent tummy ache for that dude. Chat, permanent tummy ache plus back pain or die? I know some people already live that life without the beat. Hello? Salute to I those of you who live the tummy ache life. Your sent me, oh, it's Wanda. I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Uh, my daughter is called pest control. She told me not to call you anymore for help. <laughs> sorry. Goodbye. Well, thank you for calling and apologizing to me. That's so nice. I'm sorry. You had termites and I didn't know. I thought it was a fucking hob. Listen, I care a lot about hobs. I was worried. Oh, the Grandma. The police told me to call this number, so I, uh, hope I got the right number here. Anyway, uh, I think... I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. You've got I've a been night sleeping gnome, on the Grandma. Couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything. Grandma so got please, a night gnome out the somebody window. Somebody do something about this. I can hardly sleep anymore. But also, the last time that I thought I had something locked. I was wrong. The 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 mirror nymph uh, memory wisp thing. Uh, but that sounds very. That's just a night gnome. It's breathing carpenter ants. Shut the fuck up. There's no fucking carpenter ants. You fucking asshole. <laughs> the ants are stacking up on top of each other and wearing a trench coat and looking at me. I can feel their gaze and their breath. There's enough ants that I can hear their breathing. I was I was fucking skeptical about hearing them scratching at all, but now they're breathing. That's fucking crazy. Hold. Well, let's look at Night Gnome. Right, I'm forgetting the goddamn alphabet. Yeah, the breathing specification, the window, it's literally in the picture. It's gotta be that. I'm like thinking about everything else we read. What was a night wisp again? No, that just whispers to you. Yeah, this can't be anything else. job. I love that, Papa. I'm ready to TV a computer tonight. No, I'm in the computer. I've never been a computer before. Actually, that's not true. We, we, did, we did that once. Hello, yes, Hi, Belinda. I believe there this one's for you, Belinda. problem with our home ventilation. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Okay. That could be so many things. So there's banging noises from the ceiling. The air quality seems to have been drastically reduced, and my daughter hasn't been able to stop He's coughing. Old. So we know about attic gnomes, which go bang, bang, bang. They didn't specify dust, though. Knocking or rapping sound and dust coming out of the ventilation. I mean, extra duff would make you uh, air quality issues in the household. There is no specification of dust, but I feel like it's very likely that this is an attic gnome. She didn't mention dust. Just air quality reduction, air quality issues. And the noise. Um... Carpenter ants? House fire! <laughs> I am really, like, I would... I wonder if we're gonna get house fire. If we're ever gonna have to tell someone that, that that's what they have. Uh. It's, it, it's gotta be, right? I'm trying to think of anything else we've read and mentioned air quality changes. Not the horde. I'm always looking at cellar growths. I'm always thinking about the growth. 
But I don't think that's ever what we want. Yeah. Yeah. You got attic gnomes, lady. We got them. And they're here to stay. Now. Yeah, Neon Fox, Slimy Swamp Ghost. I almost wonder if they worked on this because a lot of a lot of the pictures are similar to that person's art. Please help me. The Nay. police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. Please say you can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and such a sweetheart. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. Oh, it's silly, I know, but... For bees? My poor Jeremy is always so concerned about <laughs> bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> 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 I'm laughing into the phone at this lady. <laughs> please, please <take> <laughs> That's a riot. I'll help you, maybe. Please oh. hold. I'm wrong a lot. <laughs> it turns out. Can I go back to the desktop? No, no. Was Jeremy the name of the boy that got kidnapped? I, that's what I can't remember. They definitely gave a name. It was Charlie. It was Robbie. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, so that's unrelated. And that was the bush thing. All right, let's think about this. So, his messy closet for bees. Bees can also attract the attention of larger, more dangerous pests. So, the roots would asphyxiate but not take children. The false rose bush would kidnap or eat children, but hmm. Last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet. Yeah, okay. I think, so the bees and wasp line, that's gotta just be like a, a throwaway for the joke, because that is pretty funny. That That is pretty funny. Um, yeah, no, it wouldn't be this, because that's outdoors. What, what gets a child inside? What gets them? Where were the roots again? I just want to read that. What else mentioned children? Oh, 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 the thing I loved. The TV. What was that called? Oh, yeah. Out of place objects. We're missing children and pets. She didn't mention an out of place object. I mean, there's a messy closet. They are known for making gentle buzzing sounds. It was bees that she thought it was bees, but it's a TV that eats your boy. You got it. You're. Hold on. What did it? What did it say? What does she have to do? Remove the physical object. Oh right. Now you need to forget your child because he's gone forever. Your baby boy's dead. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, he's not dead yet, but he's gonna starve inside your TV. That's really fucked up. That's terrible. But there's no hope. You just need to forget. Damn. Damn. I wonder what he got to be inside of. When you crack open the TV, it says there's there's no way. It's just it just says speed up the grieving Hi. process. Yo. I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement. Fracture hob! I haven't been
been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. See, like, ten people, um, house fire, house fire. It's a fracture hob. It loves cheese. Please How do you hold. not know this? Just, just, I'm, I'm gonna go through the list, though, just in case, and think it through, but... No, the cheese! It's cheese plus cracks, and you leave a slice of cheese each night. I mean, they're mice like cheese, and they're getting smarter. Nah, that's Fracture Hob. Don't even need to waste time. They wouldn't put the cheese. If they put the cheese and that's not what it is, then like, that's a fucking... What a crazy, like, red herring that is. Cheese plus crack equals fracture hop. Added permitted term, white fuckers. <laughs> Are they white? You don't know that. Is this a white man? Whoa. Placing an order of 60 gallons of orange drink here. I got a big old party I'm sitting up here at the studio, and we're gonna need that orange drink to. Uh, too many mouths to feed, you know what I mean? Gonna need that orange drink to feed my brew. Is this a second thought? Y'all still got that? <laughs> that is so. It's. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally just, it's just fucking LPC. So, I mean, I've been talking about that. I told people, like, to go look at that if you're curious. Longmont Potion Castle is, like, a long-running series of vinyls that have prank calls on them. And it's a guy that sounds a lot like that. Hey, so my doctor told me I should call this number. I have no idea why he won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I guess. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches, and just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. I'm really freaked out right now, and I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? Is that carbon monoxide? Shit! That's gotta be carbon monoxide. I can't- I can't remember anything else that made your eyes look pink. But headaches and not knowing and have any other source here? What makes your eyes look pink? I think he's got carbon monoxide poisoning. Wait, what did, did the Faith flu? Oh, I wish I could read this. I don't remember if that turned your eyes pink. Oh, carbon monoxide poisoning does. It gives you headaches. I don't know about the pink thing. Carbon monoxide poisoning absolutely could make you think your eyes look pink. Bayblue did say discolored eyes. All right. I'm okay with that backseating because I, I asked you. And I did consider that it, it was that or that. I don't I don't remember headaches. But it makes sense. I'm going to say Flu.
did say it. Okay. I believe you, but if I don't get my coupon, you're banned. Why did that last one have a scary ringtone? He's got a dog. Gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here. There's holes all over my freaking house, man. Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage there is. I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. No! I took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Bad. Okay, so... Holes... Please hold. All over the house. Is the network still down? Monocolored vision. Hey, assholes! Oh, wait, no. Headaches, eye discoloration. Okay, I was worried monocolored vision mean he couldn't see his own pink eyes. All right, we, so that was most certainly right. Um, this one... Holes in the floor. I remember that being mentioned. Holes on the drywall, not the floor. A lot of holes in the floor. And also, it got rid of a dog. Um... No, not that. A spider wouldn't do this. It'd be, it'd be pretty crazy if it was a gopher or a mole, but there's definitely something odd going on with, with those beneath the soil. So, I'm just thinking of everything. What caused the damn hole? Remember, no back seating. I haven't asked you. Floor roots definitely deal with pets, but it's just a strangling hazard. They don't take you away. Big wooden splinters. And there's holes all over the house. That doesn't have anything to do with this. It's not the horde. What is it? The moles eat bugs, but not dogs. Uh. The unicorn fungi? Wait, didn't that make dogs dig holes? Homeowners often report their pets furiously digging around or inside their home. But the dog wouldn't be. I think it might be this one. He doesn't know how deep the hole in the kitchen went. The dog couldn't get outside. I think the dog dug down into the earth. I think the dog is in the hole. I'm gonna think about this for a minute, but that's a strong candidate. I think that's what I'm picking. It does say digging inside their home. That's gotta be what it is. That's the only explanation. Yeah, it's unicorn fungi. That's a fun one. That poor boo-boo bear. I should have waited to vote for many reasons. You should not have. But that was, don't worry, that wasn't Joe Biden. That was, that was, that was a fungi. Unless Joe Biden's planting fungi on the dogs now. That's the new step. Yo, Jackie. All right, I'm gonna need 
someone to explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living room. I'm back from vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn You got a travel gnome! Oh, what come is on! Is, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? You've got a travel gnome. It came in your luggage, and it comes in your house, and it's time for the garden. Hey, thank you. Yeah, you've got to travel. I don't even have to think about this. You ate a false beat! You have to die now! We have to kill you, or you have to have a stomach ache forever. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. There's something... There's something in my basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. I don't know what it might be Stella doing Grotto? down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please, send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. Did the cellar grotto specify a smell? Yep. Yep. Sounds like a lot of water. All kinds of horrible noises. Well, it looks like you're gonna have to gather a gift of gold. <laughs> <laughs> to bring it to the creator. That I think Cellar Grotto might be my favorite entry that we know of. There's a couple we still don't have. <laughs> Woohoo! Perfect! That was easy. Thank you for curbing me on my carbon monoxide pick, because I was wrong. Nothing new? No movies? I like movies before work. Do not come to the hole. Okay. My coupon? Oh, we got tamed river root. Plucked and tamed straight from the waters within the undersoil. This river root is as reliable as they come. Their gentle high frequency cries are guaranteed to keep your garden safe from all manners of pests and predators. Just don't forget to keep them well watered and well monitored. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. Rootin' for you. Holy shit, it's expensive. What can I do with it? Oh, it's it keeps my garden safe because it cries. Okay, that sounds good. Employee 36. Regarding your schedule this week, due to a shortage of available staff, we will need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured, your additional labors will be recognized. Okay, do not come to the hole. The hole is breachhead. I repeat, the hole is bracked. It's nis not safe here. I must find a new head spot. It knows I'm here. Well, that is, uh, I think Log was right about becoming a mouse. How did Mike become a mouse? <laughs> How did that happen? That's, I don't like, that seems very obvious that that's what's going on, but why did you become a mouse, my man? This is, this is, this is kind of a freaky picture until you realize that that's a cat. And it's just, it's just cute at that point. All right, um, let's go to work. So we got three more days, probably. Then maybe we work the next one. <laughs> Bird Liker says mouse camera. You're right. How is he taking the pictures? <laughs> Who would like to call me today? Well, boss first, probably. Please don't turn me into a mouse. I'm the best at this job. I wonder if I get a different ending depending on my accuracy. I only messed up Hello. two Supervisor minutes. Carol here. Well, she was complimenting me, though. continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon me. Okay. Animation? Cartoons? 
Who's that? Animations are any miniature humanoid figures such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes that are capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with animations most commonly report hearing clattering noises at night and missing or stolen household objects. Animations are usually not directly dangerous to humans and will ignore them entirely as they go about their business, but their presence in a household may indicate the interest of other potentially dangerous parties. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be my no-good teenager having joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cults they say these days because he's been gone for days now and the next thing you know, I find a dang tree growing in my shed. The tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid. Classic Satanistic ritual crap, I huh. assume. But tell me what I can do to get these godless teens off my property. Well, it's not a false rose bush. I think this might be something new. I don't know what it's talking about with the the cloth and black sludge. Closet labyrinth. Yo. Closet labyrinths are large, twisting networks of tunnels that are known to occasionally appear inside of the closets or the wardrobes of wealthy homeowners or left behind in homes once owned by the wealthy. Homeowners with closet labyrinths will often report missing clothes or the sounds of distant cries coming from their closet. Closet labyrinths are incredibly easy to get lost in by design and can prove especially hazardous to homeowners carrying valuable items such as gold, precious silk, or rare spices on their person. They are otherwise harmless to those who do not enter their domain. Walk hated. Okay. Dreamweaver. Dreamweavers are large, spider-like creatures known to weave dreams into reality. They are also known to cause nearby humans to only dream about everything being covered in webs. They will only move into a household if no other spiders are present. Dreamweavers are parasitic in nature and feed off the dreams of humans while they sleep. While this does not cause any direct harm to humans, it can lead to increased anxiety, and the large webs they weave can often trap dust, pets, and children, causing further complications. Refrain from sleeping for as long as possible in order to starve the creature and encourage it to find a new home. Dreamweavers will often attempt to induce sleep by ensnaring homeowners and injecting them with a sleep-inducing venom. Do not let them do this. False flower. False flowers are long, slender creatures that vaguely resemble common houseplants. They are known to take root in indoor potted plants, disguising themselves among the flowers. Homeowners often report hearing faint singing. They will spray out a toxic chemical to cause blindness or loss of sight. Kobold. Whoa. They're five foot tall humanoid creatures with dog like faces that are known to burrow into dark rooms or storage closets and make them their home. Homeowners invested with kobolds will sometimes report broken floorboards. Kobolds are harmless to humans until they are discovered, at which point they will often lash out violently to protect their home, causing injury or even death. If discovered, kobolds will attempt to lure humans into their space by poking their dog leg heads out from behind corners and whimpering. Do not ever enter a kobold's domain. Another bolded text. Rain nymph. Rain nymphs are a subspecies of nymph that are most active during rainstorms. They are faint humanoids with a glow in their eyes that often appear near windows and doors. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I've got attic gnomes uh just ignore them and they just they just bring floods okay it's not that dangerous soap sprite a subspecies of Sprite that are known for consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. They frequently occupy bathrooms, appearing similar to pink bars of soap in order to feed off the hands that use them. They secrete a suds-like substance that is used to digest their meals. Soap Sprites, despite their bacteria-eating lifestyle, are frequently known to spread deadly disease, such as the Fey Flu, to humans who handle them, making them a serious household hazard. Dispose of them with tongs. Sprig Tree... Sprig trees are a rapidly growing tree-like organism that takes root in a human body. They are known to cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size in a matter of days. They are known to be caused by the touch of a spriggan. 
Sprig trees are incredibly deadly to those infected and will result in death once they have reached a certain size. Anyone near a sprig tree while it is growing in an indoor location is also at risk of injury or death from the structural damage that will occur as it grows. It's probably our pick. Uh, there's no cure. Quarantine them immediately. Vacate the premises. Do not touch the infected person or the black substance that leaks from them under any circumstance. Begin looking for a new home and arrange any funeral service as needed for the affected individual. Rest in peace. Your son has perished. Sprig vines. Sprig vines are rapidly growing vines that are known to quickly consume a house and block off exits. They are often a sign that a spriggan has been provoked. Sprig vines are not dangerous on their own and can be cut through with common gardening tools. However, their tendency to block exits can create struggles when needing to exit the house in a hurry, such in the case of floods, fires, or a spriggan in pursuit. Sprig vines will continue to grow so long as the spriggan that made them desires it. It is advised to vacate and rehome as soon as possible. Remember that house in the, uh, the one I wanted to buy? <laughs> Trash gnome! That looks like a raccoon. Trash gnomes are a subspecies of gnome with thick, brownish gray fur, frog-like eyes, and large gaping mouths. They are known to seek out trash receptacles and burrow inside them for both food and shelter. Homeowners with trash gnomes often report the smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur through the house, tipped trash cans, and loud crunching noises at night. They're highly territorial once homed. While their bite is not fatal, it can often lead to inconvenient and painful circumstances, such as the loss of a finger or a nose while attempting to discard trash or remove a trash bag from the receptacle. They are also capable of spreading deadly diseases to humans, such as rabies or tetanus. So I'm guessing we're going to get one where it is very iffy whether it's a raccoon or a trash gnome. That's totally just like it's a different raccoon. Uh, we read everything? Okay, well, ma'am, your son turned into a tree and is fucking dead forever. <laughs> Sorry. Nothing to it. I don't think it's your fault. You sound like a mean mom, but I think it's just... Uh, blame, blame the Spriggan. You can always blame the Spriggan. Maybe, maybe later she'll be trapped in her house from, from leaves. No, don't water him. Gordon Freeman, you would be fired from my job. That would kill the mom. That would kill her. That would infect her. Hey, I called last week about some noises in my house. And after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? That sounds like a sort of the hob please of some hold. kind. But what hob would be most likely to be in the kitchen? Here's clattering. I remember there's clattering in this one. And a pipe and like a, a, a faucet, those are in the kitchen. House fire, house fire, carbon monoxide. Y'all are hungry for it, aren't you? Well. What other kinds of hobs are there? Could be a common hob. It wouldn't be a desk hob. It's not a fracture hob. It's gotta be a pipe hob. Hold on, let's listen to common hob sound. The clattering is like the, 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 the clear thing. Delta 8 hob. <laughs> Alternative can cannabinoid hob. <laughs> Um, yeah, sir, I'm going to say you've got a, a case of the pipe hobs. That just seems like the easiest answer. Very this one talks about dishes. But the clattering... Why pipes? I mean, because there's a, there's a there's a drain in your kitchen. Yes, hi. I recently purchased.
purchased from your company one of your home security installation services, and not a week later, I'm still getting break-ins. As I mentioned prior, someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. They could be some insane serial killer, for all we know. All they do is sing at night, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. None of your stupid security alarms even went off. False flower, but... So the, the greenhouse and the singing is probably a false flower. Um, Please hold. But I, there are other singing. There are other singing things. So I want to I want to go through all of them just to make sure. Um, homeowners often report hearing faint singing. They hear that. There was the whistling fungi. Um, but it's the greenhouse specifically. All they do is sing at night. I really like the sound for this one. Very cool, very eerie. Uh, it's gotta be False Flower, right? I can't think of any, any other ones that sing. Chat, y'all remember any other singing ones that I'm forgetting? Termites? Ants, wisps. Oh, which wisp sung? Night wisp? Night wisp talk to you. They whisper you good fortune. And other than that, there's only the memory wisp. Was there another kind of wisp? I don't think the memory wisp sung, and also they didn't talk about any. You ever hear the false rose? False rose. Well, I like that sound, but that's not singing. It's got to be false flower. Right? I don't think there's anything else. I'm going to do it. I, I feel pretty confident that that's false flower. The greenhouse mention. There's no signs other than the singing. They didn't notice anything else. Well, she's going to have to live with that forever. Or you go blind. Who is it? Flipper. Hey, Flipper here. I've got two dumbbells that I bought. Oh my god! <laughs> you gotta bring them to a hotel? I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. Can't even see my face in them when I'm deadlifting. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at these bells. I'm gonna have to lay them all out. Flipper, no! Did someone come and turn him into a mouse? <laughs> How? Who and what and why? Hello. Hi, Supervisor Carol. Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. You turned him into a mouse! He just wanted to lay his dumbbells out and lift and lift and lift. But now he's a mouse. Why did you make him a mouse? How did you make him a mouse? And you did it fast! That was instant mouse amorphous. Immediate. Fatal. I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Please hold. Am I going to lose the connection? 
No, thank God, because this one sounds odd. This is this is vague and reminds me of nothing we've read so far. Um, there's some kind of insect in my house, and I think it may have died. I saw this big nasty thing flying through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere. But I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Okay, let's do a process of elimination. It's not that, it's not that, probably not a bat, probably not a bed bug. I mean, maybe it could be a bat if a bat flew in through his window and shocked himself. I'll remember that, but this sounds like it's probably one of the less normal ones. Um, awful burning smell. House fire! <laughs> House fire! Okay, it's not bed teeth, it's not bees, it's not black mold, it's not a bogger, it's not carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide? No! You can't be serious! That's fucking bad. This is a, okay. It's not a cellar grotto, it's not a cellar growth, it's not a closet labyrinth, it's not cockroaches, it's not a common ob, it's not a desk cob. Dreamweaver is an insect. But it doesn't fly. That'd be kind of crazy. It's not the horde because the horde's invisible. He saw it fly in. He saw a big nasty thing that flew. It's not a kobold. It's not house fires. I'm sorry, chat, but it's not house fires. It's not a house fly. It's not a house spider. It's not a kobold. It's not a lamp spray. It's not a laundry gnome. Wait, didn't lamp sprite say something about burning? Fuck. People are saying, yeah, I think so. It's not a rain nymph. Okay, it's like, I like vaguely remember that. And the only other thing I can think of is a bat. But he like didn't recognize it and he called it an insect. Did the sprite look like an insect, though? That's the only confusing thing. It has wings. It had wings? It had wings? Uh, hold on. I'm just going through one more time, surveying. The tea sprite was like an insect thing, but this has nothing to do with tea. And I don't remember a burning smell. I just remember that thing left leaves around the house. Man, this is a damn memory game. Toontown prepared me for this. All right, I'm gonna go with lamp sprite. I don't think anything else here fits better. It'd be odd if he called a bat an insect. Lamp Sprite is what I say when I spill my drink. Always? It, it took my oh, it took damn my it. I thought it was a baby she, calling. She I got excited for a second. That would have been really funny. Root. House Roots. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Because... I thought the thing with... Please hold. Do we have connection again? Floor roots. But they don't... I, I don't think it mentioned taking them. Oh no, the dolls in the roots should be gone. It's floor roots. You got floor roots. Your daughter got taken by floor roots. And now she's an underperson. So... Sorry. Kids be dying in this game? They do. We got it. We got us. We're trying to help, but you know, sometimes the kids already be died before they call the me on the phone. It, it, it stole me. It stole me. Mirror nymph, hang up. I'm not me anymore. I'm. It, 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 it took me. It took me. I can't see myself anymore. I'm gone. Help me. Help me. 
Don't get me back, please! There's two possibilities. This could be the mirror nymph, or this could be the nobodies. And they've stolen the concept of your face. You can't say it please anymore. Hold. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say it's more likely the mirror nymph. Go beat it with a stick. You're not beyond hope. You can get it back. You just have to find it. Needs to be an iron stick. I think that's so funny. You need an iron implement or it doesn't work. I think some homeless or druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans... Oh, fuck, you got a bigger problem than homeless people, Ramona! You got fucking the horde! You got fucking the horde in your house! <laughs> You're fucked! Yes, I already called the police and they told me to call this number instead. So, I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Please hold. Dude, the cops aren't doing anything. They don't help anything with anyone anymore. They just need the mice men to help them. Anyways, you have the horde. You have the horde in your house, and you have to move out forever. <laughs> They love syringes, they love rotten food, they love metal scraps. Go ahead and move out. You know, it says sell the house, but like... You can't. Like, like who's gonna buy it? Uh, where is it? No. Like, no one, no one is buying your hoarded house. I'm sorry, ma'am. But that's just not gonna happen. This picture's creepy. Yeah, is there some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys? For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Please hold. <laughs> Something about that, the line read. It was very much like a line read. Um, I don't remember lights coming in through a window. I want to be careful here because last time I clicked on one and then we got a network disconnection. What did you see? Lights through window. Gotta be careful, I might have limited clicks, you never know. We already had a night gnome. The night gnome's the only one I can think of with the window. Oh wait, I vaguely remember shining lights at you, dude. My thinking music will help me. I mean, lamp's bright, but that's not, like... Yeah. Okay, we were, we were probably right with that other one. It doesn't describe them as an insect, though, but the burning smell, we have that to go off of. Okay. Who the... Fuck, it's shining lights in your house. This is a hard one. I don't remember this at all. Please don't disconnect me. Yeah, this thing just drinks... This thing just loves wine. Nothing else. Is it one of the gnomes? We did a night gnome already. The laundry gnome. Yeah, this thing never, like, never ever. I can't. 
can't think of what does lights. Let me read this over again. Some punks outside with flashlights. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. That's really not a lot to go off of. Uh, I might have to enlist chat's help, but not yet. Not yet. It couldn't be a cobalt. It couldn't be a cobalt. I literally... Oh, this is hard! <laughs> this one is really tricky. Oh, oh, oh! See, so they're outside windows and they're bright and floating lights. I'm just curious that it hasn't mentioned the, that it didn't mention like the voice or anything. So I'm just, I'm gonna think about this for a sec before I confirm, because there was no mention of the voices. Too many rubber ducks, thank you. Maybe he's good at ignoring them. Well, yeah, the plan is to don't listen, but he's too annoyed to listen. Yeah, he just didn't, he didn't mention, I guess, I guess him like, him saying that it's some punks is him acknowledging that it's talking. Okay. Night whisk for you. You just gotta ignore him. Yeah, if you got it wrong, I'm curious. It's it sucks that you get you get locked out of like you don't get dialogue if uh, you you miss out on some dialogue by getting the question right. Like I want to hear like does he say like you know I like these guys now they're telling me about money and how to get it. Patty. I think I found some kind of door. I feel like maybe I should step through it. Yeah, I think I think I need to go inside. The wind feels so nice. Ma'am, you've got a portal. Please hold. Ants. <laughs> That's clearly ants. Yeah. They give you portal and they give you the closet labyrinth, but that's definitely... That's portal. That's portal. What's so wrong about going through portal, though? You know? Like, I would want to go in, too. It looks nice. And it, it doesn't say, like, there's nothing scary in there. I just see dangerous elements to a home. I would maybe go in, but, you know, it is a portal, so... I, Patty can make her own decision. She'll figure it out. It's quiet. Anyone want to read about... Some ants? No time for that. No time for that, chat. This might, like, sound strange, but I think there's some kind of, like, squid or something in my bathroom. Like, I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its, like, uh, little tentacles or, like, tendrils or, you know, whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like, under, you know, like, that little soap thing and everything. But I know it's somewhere. Like, it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. It's still got to be hiding in here. Okay. So this could finally be a pipe growth. Um, But I don't know if it... I don't know if pipe growth Please mentioned, hold. like... It leaving. They eat anything that goes in. No, they never leave the pipe. I mean, they, they leave the pipe to move, but uh, I don't think it's pipe growth. Is it the soap thing? It doesn't describe them as having tentacles. It just looks like a bar of soap. Uh... I mean, there's pipe hob, but tentacle or tendrils. P 
Hobbs don't have tentacle or tendrils. They just have weird hair. That's not what this is. Uh, toilet hob. Wait, 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 wait. But they don't got no te tentacles. Squid. It's specifying squid is throwing me off. Um... I don't think it can be that. And a pipe don't have tentacles. And it got no tentacles. And it's small and can fit in the drain easily. The soap sprite. This one is hard. I like can't think of what has tentacles. Unless this person is wrong, like that—that's that's the only thing I can, like. Like they didn't actually see a squid. I think this guy might just be high. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. The wine sprite. Do you have wine in the bathroom? Are you are you drinking wine in the bathroom? Like this thing, this thing got a proboscis. Okay, it's winged. It's winged. Uh, wow, this one is fucking hard. Couldn't be sprigged vines. Might be pipe growth. Because a pipe growth is large. They're slightly larger than the pipes they inhabit. We don't know what it looks like. Yeah, it's not that. I feel like pipe growth is the only thing that makes sense. Chat, what are you guys thinking? There, there was the mention of the soap bar, but the thing that's throwing me off about the soap thing, I feel like one, that's too easy. Because it's like, the person mentioned soap, and then it's like, oh, it's the one named soap. But... They appear similar to pink bars of soap in order to feed off the hands that use them. But this person was certain that they saw a squid. Toilet hob? I mean, toilet hob is possible, but... They bear false faces. Slithering under near the sink. Tendricles or tendrils or, you know, whatever. And we haven't picked toilet hob for anything yet. Wet hob hair like tendrils. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. Um, active at night. That that would add to it. And it does seem it's bigger than say like a pipe hob. Um, the squid thing. I I mean I guess I think we do have to take into account that this person was like they do seem like they might be stoned or something. Uh, that, like, they could be making some mistakes by calling a hob a squid. So who knows, like, who knows what the fuck a hob is? Like, I, like, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't know what a hob is. I guess Wayne just can't see tentacles. There's no tentacles? What are you talking about? Are you, are you talking about the soap sprite? This thing, like, I, I thought, too, that, like, maybe that thing there where my mouse is was a tentacle, but, like, I don't think it is a tentacle. It's just, it just looks like a bar of soap. And and the, the instructions do not mention like any deviation from the appearance of a bar of soap. There's no, there's no mention of tentacles. 
you would have to go entirely off the picture but it is tendrils you think they are i don't know that's too low res and so far the game has never made us like use information that can be solely obtained from the picture you know it's all been from the text you got off the audio before yeah yeah that's true but it's never just the audio I mean, I think it's a 50-50 of Soap Sprite and Toilet Hob. It's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. It's, this is not big. This thing is small. And then Toilet Hob, we have active at night. But also, it doesn't mention this thing leaving the toilet. Well, I guess you put the egg near the toilet, so it does come out sometimes. The toilet, they would say toilet. Fuck! The squid. Why would the toilet hop hide on this thing and not just go back on the toilet? You're right. You're right. I don't know. Pipe hop can fit in the drain, though. It can't be pipe hop. It just can't. Are we thinking soap sprite? Honestly, I think we should put this one to a poll. Because this is like... This really could go either way. Uh... Like, that thing... <sighs> you know, and they're not saying that they saw the tentacles. It slithered with its little tendricles. And I guess soap is too big to go down the drain. No, you know, you don't have to do a poll. I'm, I'm just going to do... I'm just going to do soap sprite and hope it's correct. Because Toilet Hob seems... Ah, the active at night thing is throwing me off. This is so hard! Fuck! If it cleans the toilet, maybe there's supplies under the sink. I don't know if it uses supplies. I think it just, like, licks it or something. It eats dirt and stuff. Hobs don't slither. It's true. The, the hobs we've seen have, like, feet and hands. A soap spray would be more likely to slither. I'm, you know, yeah, we're going to do soap spray. We're just going to do it. We're just going to move on. Ninety percent? What'd we get wrong? It might have been that! I guess we find out tomorrow. I wonder what we got wrong. I'm like trying to think through all the ones we did and I like can't think of one that stood out as like really hard. I felt pretty certain about most of them. Ninety percent is still good enough for the coupon. Hey, who's that? Was that person there before? I don't think that person was there before. Hello. Well, you're receiving this email. It's because you've been emailed by this address before. The employee at this address is no longer, is registered to, is no longer employed here at Home Safety Hotline. As of April 30th, 1996, this address will be shut down and no longer able to send or receive messages. Bye, Mike. Hag hide. Whoa. That looks like a Halloween costume mask. You get that at Spirit. Sourced cruelty-free from the perished and treated with our flower-scented formula, these are the best quality hag hides you'll find. This month only, we'll even throw in an iron wall mount free of charge. Let the whispers keep your bed the safe haven it should be. Sleep easier, sleep safer. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. Haglin for deals. Okay. I buy that. Hey, wait a minute. Today's the 29th. So on the 30th, it gets shut down. So Mike's not gone yet. We got a new movie, Thunder Peak.
prepare. <laughs> I like this bit. The very slow slideshow is very authentic. <laughs> that to kill the mirror nymphs. Sounds quite nice. That would go. And I get a sword. The guy the guide will give me one. Trying to read and see if this says anything odd. Nope, doesn't seem like it. High rockfall area. The quiet zone. Oh shit. <laughs> would you go I would the, the instructions were pretty clear It's true. Someone said, how do you get back down? They don't explain that. I mean, I guess you just do the same thing in reverse. Just take your shoes off, go back in the cave, be very quiet. This is a real place in Utah. <laughs> I believe you. That'd be pretty fucking crazy if that was like a set or something or like not real. I do believe you. I would go to that place. Mount Timpanogos. I'll have to check that out if I'm ever in Utah. I've heard Utah is very, very pretty. I have a, a mutual from there, but... Like, that is, that is the, the the main good thing about Utah is that it's a pretty damn place. All right, nothing more left to do but have a job. This might be our final day of, uh, of reading, of getting new information. Clock in, I'm ready. Ready to work. I'm pretty sure I've mastered my job. 90% rates almost every day. Um, right, we gotta wait for boss to call.
employee. Lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Time for me a mouse? Dorcha. Dorcha is the one who delivers. Homeowners experiencing Dorcha commonly report feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. They may also experience visions of a great lurking shadow. Dorcha will deliver what she seeks. There is no coming back from deliverance. Dorcha is otherwise harmless to humans it does not seek. Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Tell me what to do to get rid of this thing because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. That stupid thing is probably getting loaded. That had. See, I'm, I'm always the, the 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 one time that it told me, uh, like that I, that I had one where I was like pretty certain that I knew what it was and it was the obvious choice and it wasn't, makes me worry. So, cause like, cause so we have the wine sprite, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. That's wine. So broken glasses. I mean, it adds up. I can't imagine. We should read all the new ones just in case, because I did see Leprechaun, and that sounds like a Leprechaun could do that. Autumn Vines. Autumn Vines are vines with orange or red leaves that are known to slowly grow over a house, frequently occurring during the fall. Homeowners with Autumn Vines often report feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. The pheromones Autumn Vines release in the air, while not toxic, can often cause household incidents thanks to their blissful, dizzying effects. And it wants meat substance. Bed hag. Bed hags are large humanoid creatures with an elderly woman like appearance. They are known to dwell beneath beds, hammocks, and other suspended sleeping apparatus. Homeowners infested with bed hags will sometimes report croaking or wheezing sounds at night. Or the feeling of a heavy weight on their chest. Bed hags are not dangerous to motels. Most healthy human adults, but small children and humans suffering from breathing problems such as asthma may be adversely affected by their presence. Bed hags are known to steal the breath of their sleeping subjects at night, causing a shortness of breath and sometimes sleep paralysis. It can be beneficial to a home because they scare off mice and bugs. <laughs> Leprechaun. Leprechauns are small humanoids covered in long brown hair that are known for consuming common household valuables such as jewelry, silverware, and other precious metals. That was him eating, I guess. Damn, they'll eat your heater, they'll eat your furnace, they'll eat your common appliances. They can occasionally cause direct harm to humans in cases where homeowners have metallic medical implants. Oh, oh wow, that's fucked up. It's jumping, it's jumping into your, it wants to eat your knee, your replaced knee, your fucking pacemaker. Leprechauns will move on to other feeding grounds on their own once they run out of food, but more proactive means removal require physical capture. If immediate removal is required, it's recommended to utilize professional help. Neighbor's doorway. Neighbor's doorways are door frame-like structures that can often appear in basements or cellars. They are known to cause confusion if stepped through as well as parallelism. Neighbors' doorways do not cause any direct harm to humans, but if stepped through, the resulting parallelism will often result in unwanted household activity, such as altered behaviors or perceived missing memories in the human who comes through the other side. So another memory one. I think that's gonna be another 50-50, like the raccoon thing. Uh, neighbors' doorways are tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them and potentially triggering the parallel activity. Practice mindfulness. Do not let one's mind wander towards wishing for alternate life paths. Hmm. Puka. 
Kukas are shapeless creatures that commonly inhabit homes in the shape or likeness of a household pet. They are known for their tendency to replace common pets such as dogs or cats and live in their place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Homeowners with pukas frequently report unusual or frightening pet behavior. Pukas are relatively harmless to humans, but the discarded bodies of household pets they leave behind can over time create other pests and disease hazards within the home. A foul smell de signifies decay and the discarded body should be found and removed immediately. Pukas can be discouraged to leave a home by not drawing attention to their activities. Pukas thrive on the attention they receive from frightened homeowners, so refrain from screaming or yelling when surprised by them, and make attempts to ignore their presence whenever possible. <coughs> Scary doggy. Reanimation. Oh, it's just a zombie. Slash skeleton. Reanimations are any diseased remains of living creatures capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with reanimations commonly report foul smells, soil being tracked inside the home, and large holes in the ground reappearing near or around the home. Reanimations are capable of spreading a wide variety of dangerous diseases and parasites to all humans, so close proximity or contact should be avoided at all costs. They are also commonly used to inflict direct violence against homeowners and are incredibly adept at hiding and waiting for vulnerable moments. They're used? Reanimation's pursuit is slow but relentless, so relocation is not necessarily not necessary or advisable. It is advised to contact any friends, neighbors, or strangers the homeowner may have recently cited, slighted, and make peace or bargain. So this is just like a wizard world. This is a fantasy world. Spriggans are small green humanoid creatures with leaf-like coatings on their bodies. They are seen rarely in households and reside primarily inside trees. They are known to act violently upon homeowners when provoked, however. Homeowners affected by spriggans commonly report rapid vine growth in and around their homes and the feeling that the trees are watching them. Spriggans are incredibly dangerous to humans when provoked, and physical contact with one will result in the growth of a sprig tree within the affected individual. Do not ever kill or hunt wildlife within view of your home. Do not eat any wild fruit or vegetable that may grow on your property. Consider making offers of water each night left in a clean dish on your porch. Troll! <laughs> wow, that's a good picture. Tro trolls are giant 12 foot tall nocturnal creatures that normally are not seen in the home. However, during the winter, they will deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets or articles of clothing. Homeowners infested with a troll will frequently report missing clothes or claim to hear the shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night. Trolls are very dangerous to humans when they are startled thanks to their ability to inflate their bodies to their full height of 12 feet in a matter of seconds. Their skin, despite its flexibility, is incredibly durable and will smash through the ceilings of most homes when fully inflated, causing property damage and injury to any anyone in the vicinity. Do not ever approach a troll. An active troll will leave by morning once it has secured its bounty. It is recommended to install repelling fixtures such as UV lights to, break, to prevent future break-ins. Yeah, most of these final reveals are just like full-on like fantasy, which is kind of cool. I dig that. Warlock Remnant. <laughs> yeah, that's... Whoa! Grandpa! Warlock Remnants are residual presence often left behind by former warlocks, most commonly inhabiting older households, castles, or underground dwellings. Homeowners experiencing Warlock Remnants often report objects moving on their own, the sound of hostile warning whispers, or sighting bearded figures in reflective surfaces. Warlock remnants, while a hostile presence, are mere echoes of their former selves and are generally harmless. Their ability to ma manipulate small household objects can prove hazardous to less cautious homeowners, however. They can purge the remnant from their house with the use of a Sealy Stone, but the journey to retrieve one is both long and perilous and not recommended. If a warlock remnant proves sufficiently hazardous or inconvenient, it is highly recommended for homeowners to simply relocate. Yeah, this is a neat blend of, like, it's like SCP shit and then just pure, like, fantasy horror. It's, it's, it's cool. I do dig that. I have, I'm liking this for the most part. I have some mixed thoughts, some some negatives. I'll talk about them once we beat it, and I think we're pretty close to the end. But for now, let's focus on the game. Um, it's wine sprite. Nothing. It, it can't be anything else. I thought maybe leprechaun, but like wine sprite fits all the bills. sell your house without telling anyone about the issue yeah that's what the real estate video is i like that i like that element a lot hey, yeah it's good Thanks world building nothing. i called again recently about
knocked out some kitchen noises, and your people once again sent me bad information. Oh, it wasn't the pipe hop. I was so certain. I'll be going for help elsewhere. Now we're having power outages, so who knows what this thing in our house has got into uh -oh. now. Goodbye. Uh-oh. Sorry, Robert. You've got a bogger. You should move. It was a common hob. That was the mistake. I thought I thought it was a pipe hob. It was just a plain old common hob. Oh. He didn't even he hung up before I could tell him he had a bogger. I could have saved him. It was a house fire, but you didn't I hope we get a house fire in these final days. So uh I, I think something may have died inside my desk. It stinks to high heavens, and something is leaking out of it. I have to lock the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, so... That could be a dead desk hob. Uh, that could be, uh, wood secretions, potentially. Um... I don't know if wood secretions specify smell too much. That could also be, um... It's not a puka, because there, there would have been more to it. Puka mentioned the dead thing. Could be an artifact. Please no. hold. Wood secretions, I bet. Does it smell bad? Sweet candy-like smell to them. The kids are overly curious about the smell. Yeah, and normally it's a foul odor. It's wood secretions. You've got wood secretions! Don't let your children eat it. It'll transform or something. What does it say? Yeah, your flesh will be translated if you eat that shit. You don't want that. But don't ever insult or shout at wood. That's bad. Now we wait. You know, we had the normal waiting music that time. Previously, like, the, the one before that, it was, like, scary song. Howard. I think there's someone watching me. Outside, something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something and told me to call you. <laughs> Hoping you'll be more helpful. <laughs> well, that's a spriggan. Please hold. We know that's a spriggan. Yeah, that's like, that, that's just a spriggan. I don't even have to waste time. There are other things that watch them from outside, but the fruit and stuff... And they're always around the trees. Are you sure? Yes! I am sure! The police are fey. I mean, they're either fey or, like, they just are tired of this shit and just don't do anything about it. My brother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Autumn Things leaves? Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? Please hold. I like that call. Good performance from that one. Um, yeah, that's Autumn Vines. blissful dizzying effects and they grow over the house but there's two kinds of leaves there's spriggan leaves but that's not what it is things are straight up good <laughs> things are chill here hi do you know how I got here I'm I I'm not where I should be. 
Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. That's a neighbor's door. I, I don't know what's happened. Uh, please tell me how to get back to my family. Please hold. You should go back through the neighbor's door, right? Or are you just fucked? I think you might just be screwed. So it sounds like the neighbor's doorway. I will say. Nah, I can't complain about that. I'm gonna I'm gonna rescind whatever I was about to say. I was gonna comment about like this one's been all the new ones. We just got all of these or most of these, except for the wine sprite. And like like I like it should it should be a good mix. But I mean maybe this might be a long day. It might have just been a, a bunch of them in a row. So I'm a benefit of the doubt for now. But yeah, that's a neighbor's doorway. I hope I don't get turned into a mouse. I hope I don't get turned into a mouse. I hope I don't get turned into a mouse. I honestly... The reveal of the fantasy thing is kind of... Is kind of clearing up some of the things that I was disliking about this. But we still have to see where this goes. We don't know how this ends. But like, it... I was kind of annoyed by the way the lady was talking, my manager. But now that now that it's clear that there's like wizards and shit, like Hi. she's like yeah. she's a warlock or something. Like I like it more now. Eggs coming from my dining room, and when I looked to see what it was, I saw this awful, disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. It's quite Faye feast. too. Faye feast. You gotta eat it. You and your daughter gotta eat that. House. Because who knows how big this thing is? I mean, my dog can't even lay down something that big. That is a that is a fey feast. Actually, no, it's probably not. That might be something else. Okay, this might be a tricky one. Um, the rotten. I remember a rotten egg smell being mentioned Please in hold. something, but what? I don't remember. What mentioned rotten eggs? I'm so worried I'm gonna get a disconnect and I'm gonna be fucked. At this point in the game, a disconnect is like scary. calling it disgusting when like this is just like flour it is just a pile of flour and it doesn't smell so what's got the stinky stuff in their house why is it stinky ma'am why is it stinky please tell me now um Why is it sticky? Tell me! Leprechauns eat metal. I'm like scared to click because that's disconnected us before. Who mentioned rotten eggs? There was a rotten eggs thing. Fungi can smell? Yeah, but... that rotten eggs was mentioned at some point i really i'm i'm really skeptical about this being a fey feast i remember one of these definitely talked about rotten eggs Ugh.
Yeah, I don't know how this... That, that can't be that, because how would that make its way onto the fucking dinner table? No, can't be that. What is this? This is a tricky one. Do bed hags be stinking? Do she be stinking? No. Okay, I don't seem to be getting disconnected, so I'm good to click around. Can't be a bogger. Can't be Dorcha either. Who fucking... Who's stinking? I don't know who's stinking. Did leprechauns smell like rotten eggs? No, they have no smell factor. It's not, it can't be a kobold. And it's big. Puka? No, no, no. Pu because the, uh, the only thing with the puka was the smell of the body. She did mention a dog. I mean, the pile could be the body. No, it's not bigger than a dog. It's a pile of crap that the dog couldn't shit out. And the mention of the dog does, like, when they, they've mentioned, there's been a number of dogs in this game. When they mention dogs, the dog is usually important. You know? Thanks, Wover Boy. Can't be that. Trash gnome? Oh, shit. Homeowners with trash cans often report the smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur throughout the house, tip trash cans. Okay, rotten eggs, but... Did it take a big shit inside? It doesn't mention that. dog thing was just her dismissing a possible source well yeah but a lot of the times it will mention like something that's mentioned very offhandedly is a huge clue so the the fact that she has a dog means that the puka is possible but the puka says nothing about the animal's corpse being like changed in a way that it's unidentifiable the rotten egg smell is a direct link here But it doesn't mention poop. The rotten eggs thing is like the, the the main thing I have to go off of, and honestly, I don't think there's anything else. Like I like like other than puka, and I don't think it's puka. And then this, the only thing. This, this is, th th like, with this, the only connecting feature is the fact that it's on a table, which, which isn't, that's not very good. <laughs> like, th th that's not a good thing to go off of. I think it's gnome because ants can't do this. You're a genius. 
I think you're over. I think you're overthinking this. It's probably house fire. You're right. Faye V's unfortunate to eat it. I don't want her to eat it. She mentioned going on vacation. No, she didn't mention vacation. Let's go with trash gnome. I the rotten eggs is like that's the one thing. And I mean <sighs> Chat, say right now which one you think it is. Just 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 drop that in chat right now. I'm curious what y'all think. What's the pile? Her poop. Yeah, the Fae people are saying the Fae is a big pile. Yes, but it's just flour. It doesn't mention a foul smell or anything. It's all edible stuff that you can just eat. I think everyone's... I think it's a trash gnome that took a shit. Yeah, Fae Feast does not describe it being unpleasant. It's edible. All right. Trash gnome. Hopefully this doesn't get me turned into no mouse. Think about the sentences you're saying. Oh, I know. Oh, I know what I'm saying. It ain't even weird to me. This is my job. In the game in real life. Turn this woman into the dung eater. No. So this could be the dream weaver or bed bugs. Please hold. <laughs> we've we've never had we've never picked bed bugs. But he used pesticides and scrubbed the bed sheets and it didn't stop. There's also the bed hag. But that doesn't induce itching. Or nightmares. I mean, the sleep paralysis could be nightmares. The dream weaver, though... They only dream about covering in webs. The kids didn't specify. It's just nightmares. But I could easily see the dad just kind of, like, skipping over that detail. But the Dreamweaver, it like, it makes visible webs. Like it would, that, that would be noticeable. And also bed bugs, like bed bugs are hard to kill, right? Itchiness. Resistance to majority of common pesticides. Oh, <laughs> I think it's a simple one. Late game simple. I like that. That's good. We've we've had bed bugs the entire game. Ryan Offsky, thank you so much. Do bed teeth do anything especially scary? Yeah, they get sharp and cut you up at night. Bed teeth are freaky. This one, this is fucked up. They can cause you wounds. I miss the prank caller. I wish he didn't get turned into a mouse. Okay, do you want to explain to me what the hell is happening? I called last week to ask why my home heater has been having issues, and nothing's changed after following the instructions you sent me. Leprechaun? Ah, be quiet. I know your teeth hurt, but Daddy's on the phone right now. Anyway, we're still freezing our butts off over here. So tell me what the hell is happening right now so I can get this fixed properly. I think the leprechaun went in the kid's mouth and pulled a tooth out. 
please hold. And it broke the heater. It specifically mentioned the heater. Braces, crowns. Yep, that's a leprechaun. You're gonna have to catch that thing. <laughs> Well, there wasn't any other mention of teeth, right? No, the overlap of teeth and heater, it can't be anything else. It's a leprechaun. It's a damn leprechaun. This game is making me thankful I live in a mundane world. Yeah. This would not be a fun life to live. It's odd, though, there's so many occurrences. I wonder how widespread it is. Like... Because these people don't know what these are. Maybe giving my wife and I a run for our money. <sighs> Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing, Troll. and at night I keep hearing this strange, whoopee cushion type sound Troll. coming from outside. <sighs> I, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night and putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but <sighs> I, I think they're onto my tricks. Too easy. Do you have any advice you can send me? Please hold. Piece of cake. Have any advice I can send you? Yes. Here is uh, home home safety home safety helper dot com slash troll dot html. Yeah, I think like this might be the only call center or something, and this is like yeah, the, like the entirety of America calling you or something. I saw your commercial and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. Bees! I looked around inside but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm... I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. I mean, tea's bright. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be after- Please hold. Oh. Okay, well, if we're losing network for this one, that's definitely tea's bright. They leave behind tea leaves. Not tea, ticks. What the fuck are you talking about? Wait, shit, but she makes tea. Wait, but the thing was attracted to tea. Shit. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to read that when we get the network back. I'm, I might have been misremembering what tea sprite was. Oh, it's going into. Hi. We need some medical help. I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started to the breath around the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Yeah, you know, you could have some ventilation thing going on, but shortness of breath... Please hold. That is specifically bed hag. And it's also just one bed. It's not the whole house. Oh my god, really? Well, fuck, I'm just gonna go bed hag and hope. Hope that's correct. The house fire is depriving you of air. That's pretty smart. That's pretty smart. Yeah, I wish my damn internet worked. I need help. I need to call my ISP. So, uh, I've been hearing this weird sound coming from the walls. Not Whistling exactly fungi, get out of there, Carla! But I've been having a hard time sleeping at night because of this sound. Can you hear that? It's been non-stop lately. I've replaced all of my smoke detector batteries and everything. But I cannot figure out where the sound is coming from. Please hold. I like don't even have to check. I know what that is. It, you being able to hear it in the background is a good touch. Instructions you said didn't work and 
smells so foul. I'm hearing angry voices coming from the walls. They keep telling me to eat it. It so was a fey feast. Eat it. Don't make me eat What the fuck? Puka. He's really been acting up lately. I can hardly blame him. It, it smells so terrible. It's rotten. fucked up. Because the Fay Feast one, Please, my first guess help? was Fay Feast, but the fucking rotten egg smell. Like, the, no indication. Okay, is a Puka. Your puppy acting strange and you smell its corpse. That's really sad. Yeah, I want to read the fucking Faith Beast page again. Because I don't think there's a single thing here. Like, species of fungi. But it... Yeah, the only thing here is species of fungi. That could, that could smell bad. Ninety. We messed up that one person's bay feast, but otherwise pretty good. Yeah, I thought it was poop. I thought it was the damn poop pile. The house fire wanted her to eat entry browser. Congratulations. We are happy to report that we are most pleased with your labors and are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension, assuming you pass the trial. The soil is fertile. Keep up the great work, and thanks for working through the weekend. F oh, sick. I got a J.O. crystal. Whether you're simply too tired to concentrate or if you just want to look at your best without the stress, our Glamour Stones are here to put you at ease. With our patented protective seal, our Glamour Stones have a 99.9% .9 reliability rating. Okay. Um... The trial, huh? This just look, lets me look at the entries for fun. Weird that it gives it to me now. I mean, I guess I've unlocked them all, but like, am I not going to get a chance to look at them again? I don't want to have to like, I don't want to read them all through again. I remember most of them. I guess let's catch up on some that we haven't ever gotten. Hmm. Puppets that move on their own. Clattering noises. Clattering. Wait, did we have this guy when I when I told that guy about the uh uh the, when I when I said it was a pipe hob? I wonder. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just go. Nothing else new? Yeah, no. There was a hole in the background. I saw the hole. Oh yeah, I don't think I'm allowed to look at anything. The bees. Please hold. I remember it, it, it specified very clearly the bees follow the queen. And also that's just, you know. 
Animation. I think it's animation. Please hold. I'm glad I decided to read that one page by chance. I did not remember that it said clattering. I feel like I'm going to get screwed over in the future now. Water nymph, rain nymph. Please hold. It begs to be let inside. Housefly? Please hold. Yo, this song right now? This is some Silent Hill shit. Closet Labyrinth. Please hold. Okay. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. The travel gnome, you know, he makes the garden inside. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. That could mean like the the travel, but no, but I don't think that's what it is. If it's not the travel gnome, what was the seedlings deal again? I remember you can't take it. E Companions of the Gardens. I can't remember if the Travel Gnome had some sort of like... Like, like the Travel Gnome I would consider a companion of the Garden, but... Or is this Spriggan? Yo, this song is crazy. I think it might be Spriggan.
Because Spriggan is a companion. Seedlings are plural. I just don't remember what the seedlings did. It's either Travel Gnome, Spriggan, or Seedlings. Seedlings made you angry? Man, the others were like that, but I really don't remember what the seedlings did. That was when I did not read very clearly. You know, I'm pretty sure it's seedling because what I, I remember the seedling is you can't weed them. And I remember it said, keep your distance. Like if you're gardening there, you can't garden there anymore. You can no longer tread over the garden. I mean, I, I don't know if I got that right or not. He was like, oh, thank God. We don't know. I might have got that wrong. I don't like I don't know how this works. Oh, fuck if I know. Consume the weak and the reckless. I remember one thing said like that it wasn't a problem unless you were reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. Flame dances. Is forsaken oil? Forsaken oil turns to flame? Thank you for remote only, by the way. I think this might be house fires. Dancing flame, it lights. Forsaken oil turns to flame. A, care a careless light could start a flame with forsaken oil. Yeah, I'm gonna go with house fires. They do it? I really I really did not expect the direction the the, the fantastical direction is this talk. I'm the seeker. I'm the one who delivers. Dorcha! Torcha! Please hold. Torcha is the one who delivers. That's fast. Hello! <laughs> Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you closely. For all this time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. These acts will not go unrewarded, and I'm pleased to report that you have qualified for a promotion. Please stand by while I prepare thy promotion. 
Promotion in progress. Please stand by. You can turn off the motor. That was interesting. <laughs> that was, uh, um, huh. I think overall I like that game. Um, So, so that that whole final sequence was the best part of the game. That was awesome. That that like the, I I think honestly my favorite thing in the whole game was that that really long ambient track they had going there. That was awesome. Um, the uh, I didn't expect it to be like a memory game in that way, but I think I think if I didn't stream this game, I probably would not have been able to beat that last segment. Like, and I think I got everything correct. Um. The I think because I was reading it out loud to you guys and talking about it with you guys, I was able to remember more than I normally would have been able to. So that was really cool. Um, the at first, so chat, if you've listened to the 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 I think it was the, the gnome uh, behind the scenes. Um, the uh, I talk about the ni my ninety ten theory. Right. I feel like if something is comedic, giving it ten percent horror is like amazing. If something is horror, 90% horror, 10% comedy um, is like the best ratio you can have. I felt like at first, this one didn't do 90-10. I felt like it had a little bit too much silly stuff, but it was mostly front loaded. The like, I was the, I, I was, I, it was, it was mostly front loaded and like what they were doing there, like that, that, that totally worked. At first I was just like, oh, is this going to be like. Uh, and like the guy turning into the mouse and typing all silly, I was like, okay, this is a little, this is, this is a little ridiculous. The, and like the, the humor, the, the humor, like not everything was a hundred percent my cup of tea, but like some of it was very good. Like the Longmont Potion Castle thing, fucking amazing. Like I loved that. That was awesome. Um, the, uh, no, Mokumura, I wouldn't even say that. I don't think it prescribes to the 90, 10 thing. It definitely was doing its own thing. Like the split doesn't matter at that point. Like, I don't care about what the ratio was. I was just like, eh, it's like, I wasn't 100% sure, like, if the balance they had going was for me. And I was kind of iffy after a little while. Um, the, the, but honestly, the, the, the initial negativity that I felt towards some of the stuff served to make me enjoy it more by the end. Um, the, so, so like, so like, I was a little iffy about the, the humor and horror balance, but what got me is at first I was like, when when like when it was like, oh, the moles are, the moles are making me want to go in the tunnel. They want to, they the moles make me want to go in the tunnel. I was like, I was like, oh, 
okay sure well, that was um the and then and then i was and then i was like uh we got to the guy turning into the mouse and i was like okay they revealed that really early like that that was a very abrupt and immediate uh reveal that that guy got turned into a mouse which is a pretty drastic thing to to reveal um and then they started revealing more of the entries that were like more scp like 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 the like the the horde and the 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 fey artifact or the false artifact the thing that traps you inside of it and i was like oh, okay we're getting into more scp thing like what paranormal like i i like at that point, I was expecting like, okay, it's it's paranormal. We're thinking like ghosts and shit. Ghosts and demons and rat people, I guess, and some sort of fusion of the two. I was not expecting it to go like fantasy. To, to go like fey folklore shit. The, like, I I did not see that coming at all. And that suddenly being like, like it leading into the full focus made all that stuff make more sense. And I enjoyed the little bit of SCP stuff. The, like, the entry, the, the... The, the various entries that were like SCP stuff, like the false artifact, were cool. The But it taking a fantasy direction, I did not see coming, uh, especially considering like, you know, this is like a, like a, like a fake computer game. I was, I was expecting like it more to just be like generic, like paranormal analog horror sort of thing. The, 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 the warlocks and wizards and stuff, I did not see that coming whatsoever. That was re that was a really good twist and theming. That was that, so. So that really pulled me back in. Um, only other critiques, I thought some of the, the the like the like more analog quote unquote horror videos were a little like iffy sometimes. The, but I think I think I think it all served to to do something really cool overall. I I very much liked that. I very much liked that. Um, people are saying there's a lot of different endings and stuff, which I don't I don't know if I can just ex access those. I'm guessing I got like the best ending possible, which is impressive. Art book. Hi, I'm Nick Lives, the creator of Home Safety Hotline. If you're reading this, it hopefully means you're invested enough in this game to be curious about its development. Sure, I'll look around. This was Thanks, such a funny, funny stream. Thank this you is a peek into the game's art development process game. and all the human messiness that entails. I hope you enjoy this thorough and admittedly indulgent look into what went making Home Safety Hotline the game it is right now. If I got this, I got the best ending. I'm curious what the bad endings are. Like, what is it like to get turned into a mouse? Um... When I was maybe 10 or 12 years old, my grandfather gifted me a Dungeons and Dragons monster manual she picked up from a thrift store. Immediately, I fell in love with this book, despite having no idea what its purpose was. I would scour its pages constantly and learning everything I could about its many, many imaginative creatures. Since I started developing games, I very much wanted to make a game about the pure joy I experienced flipping through a bestiary. Aw, that, that rules. I love that. Many games are featured in game bestiaries, but rarely is it important to actually read through them in much detail. My first attempt at creating a game based around my love for bestiaries was a game aptly titled Bestiary, a fantasy game in which you would play as a researcher testing the dead bodies of monster corpses with various magical implements and an attempt to write an accurate bestiary entry for them, noting properties as you went. This prototype never actually made it past the conceptual stage with these concept art pieces and a crude interactable UI being as far as I took it. I wasn't too happy with this direction as it felt rather art heavy, seemed too generic and felt like felt little like the activity that inspired it. Skip ahead a while and my wife and I wind up both getting jobs as actors at a local fantasy theme park called Evermore Park in which she played a playful fairy and I voiced and puppeteered this big monster called the Fae King. This park gave a lot of improvis improvisational freedom to its actors. Why is chat freaking out about that? Oh, I feel like I've seen it. Like someone made a big YouTube video essay about that at some point. That is like something people are very familiar with it with Evermore. Or is that something else? Jenny Nicholson. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember seeing that. Um, we wound up both really stretching some creative muscles while we were there. Every day we'd be crafting stories on the spot for guests and improvising scenes with other actors. Eventually, many of the actors quit or were let go, but the park left a substantial creative void within many of the people who worked there, myself included. As time went on, I sorely missed performing and improvising with other actors and the constant but rewarding creative challenge of tail weaving and lore crafting on the fly. 1-800 bestiary during the pandemic as things felt increasingly dire and lonely i wrote up a new design talk document entitled 1-800 bestiary a game about answering calls for a hotline that prescribes solutions to various kinds of monster infestation in the infestations the hope was with the collar angle i'd be able to wrangle a bunch of actor friends into this fun and quick project and maybe we'd all get a chance to recreate some of that creative spark and i'd finally get to scratch my childhood bestiary itch alas other priorities came up with other projects i was developing so 1-800 bestiary remained on the back burner for another three years fun ghoul Analog horror. 
At the end of 2022, I released a horror game called Night Signal that I'd been trying to finish for the past few years. And while the game didn't perform great financially, it sure seemed to resonate with those in the YouTube comment sections. Because I'm a weak human who craves validation, naturally, I read each and every comment as it came in. I'd see some people say Night Signal reminded them of something called Analog Horror. I gave into curiosity and started going down this Analog Horror rabbit hole. Once again, I immediately fell in love. Here was this incredibly fascinating subgenre of horror that oozes with creativity and its second-hand approach to storytelling, all while being wrapped in an instantly recognizable and nostalgic aesthetic. Let's be Andrea. Thank you so much. Uh, Gemini Home Entertainment, in particular, quickly became a favorite uh, with its more subdued approach in presenting its horrors so matter-of-factly buried inside informational videos about mundane topics like wildlife and camping. Early version. The Lunar Archives. Do, during my newfound love affair with analog horror, it occurred to me at some point that the genre would be a perfect match for 1-800-BEAST-SERIES gameplay concept, and right away I revived the pitch and started crafting a working prototype. I settled quick on a Windows 95-inspired interface since analog horror was frequently channeling 90s-era media formats, and it felt like the only natural digital equivalent. I only crafted this quick proof of concept piece before building the interface in engine and iterating from there. The new working title was now Lunar Archives as I tentatively de bleh, decided the new concept would, re would revolve around aliens. At this time, the idea was that the aliens slash monsters could be from anywhere in the world since that opened up the largest number of creative possibilities. I struggled to come up with interesting monsters in such a broad setting, however, and it didn't really feel scary yet to read about a monster that lives nowhere near me. The B-Series entries increasingly felt like they needed to be more personal to be scary, so I decided the monsters should all be things that live in your house. Out of curiosity, I asked my wife one day if she knew of any folklore about monsters that live in your house. The answer was goblins. Oh, hell yes, now we're talking. I excitedly grabbed one of my sketchbooks so I could doodle some weird goblins in the new, more fitting title idea. Home safety. As soon as I started reading up on house, house goblin folklore, I instantly felt like a kid again and monster ideas just started flowing out. The first monster I did design was this hob photo. I dove right into Photoshop and started painting my interpretation of a little goblin into a photograph of a living room, Trevor Henderson style. Yep, you know, we were saying that. Like I said, I was curious if, if, if they worked on the game, but it was just Nick. That was your name, right? That you said at the start. I think it was. I don't know. I gave him a little troll doll style tufts and some simple simple slits for eyes trying to evoke a Guillermo del Toro-esque spirit of grounded, scary, but whimsical. After drawing my first hob, I got a little carried away in my sketchbook, drinking up different varieties of these weird little guys and detailing how they would function. Different hair and false faces would denote different species and bring them closer in line with big nose goblin designs that everyone is familiar with. Didn't take long for me to go deep diving into Wikipedia, discover even more stories of Fae, and begin interpreting it under the lens of my newfound design ethos, treating each creature as though it were simply some kind of bizarre animal. I like this gnome. That's a good gnome drawing. The idea for inflatable trolls came from a mix between the folklore of trolls and spriggans, where spriggans were said to be small creatures that could grow to enormous size. When I read this, it made me think of pufferfish, and I laughed as I tried to picture what such a creature would look like when deflated. I gave this ability to the trolls because folklore usually portrayed them as too big to enter people's homes, and spriggans felt like they had plenty of distinctive qualities already. When drawing monsters frequently, I would find myself having to paint the entire monster in order to get certain poses to feel accurate, before erasing parts of them later to hide behind furniture or blurring them to oblivion. And then, of course, they would be crushed into tiny pixels at the end anyway. Less is more after all, but I still had to draw more to get there. Seeing this, this painting, like, it does, it, 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 it does not look nearly as realistic as like the the way they were blended in the photos made them out to be the it was really impressive the way they turned out i'm scared by a lot of stupid silly things as such both humor and horror can feel like one and the same sometimes when i read about the stories of the puka who pretends to be a horse just to buck people around to scare them for a laugh i thought of what the modern indoor equivalent might be and i immediately thought of these viral photos of tiny dogs creepily staring at their owners this is the result and it might be my proudest artistic achievement that one was pretty good the gnome problem. These gnomes in particular have suffered the most in the reduction in image fidelity when compared to their paintings, so here they are in their higher definition glory. Check them out. Check out them little guys. The Spriggan by far may be the hardest creature to spot. Yeah, I like didn't even see this. I was I was looking in that picture and couldn't find it. Um, I've asked playtesters to try and find the Spriggan. No one has found the Spriggan. I could consider this a failure on my part as a designer, but instead I left it as is the final product. I think that was smart. I don't think I don't think you need to see them in all of them. The troll's another creature that I painted in far more detail before blurring him to hell and back. So here he is in all his wrinkly, deflated glory for your viewing pleasure. Man, seeing like... Like, and I don't mean this as a dig or an insult. Seeing how not realistic the, 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 the full resolution unblurred paintings look is like really impressive. Because they looked really good in the pictures that they showed. Like, 
they looked weird and creepy. The, 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 the rendering into the photos was really, really good. The Boggart! The Boggart is maybe the most traditionally spooky creature I've designed for HSH with his uncanny human-like face and long slender figure. After reading into Boggart lore and finding out they are sort of the forefathers of our modern day boogeyman, it seemed only fitting to make the Boggart more traditionally ghoulish. The Trash Gnome, is that just literally a raccoon's top? Oh, I hear my doggy. I'm gonna have to cut. I'm gonna have to cut the stream soon. We're pretty much done. I'll, I'm gonna look at like endings and stuff in my own time, but I'll finish this here. Um, the Trash Gnome was inspired by a fan suggestion described as Oscar the Grouch, but worse. The thought of a Muppety creature with a large mouth that lives in trash was too entertaining to pass up. To create the Trash Gnome, I took a photo of a raccoon and rearranged the eyes and head to create our scruffy little friend here. This is once again another creature where I created uh, more than would be seen in the end result. Man, I'm thinking like, this was, I I'm shocked that we didn't get a question that had you put it, pitting the raccoon and the Trash Gnome against each other. Um, Self-writing entries. To source photographs for entries, I would browse free use CCO photography libraries for photos that looked like they would be perfect for photoshopping a monster within. But on occasion, I would stumble upon a photograph that was so intriguing on its own, I would be inspired to write an entry for it as is. This photo, for example, by Tasha Kamrowski, was immediately captivating and inspired the mirror and inventory on its own. I changed the skin tone to up the creep factor slightly, but the photo is otherwise unaltered. Making people question ordinary objects in their home is both quite funny and quite creepy. Uh, and that's something these fans suggested entry soap sprite and laundry gnome exhibit quite well. I didn't even see this. Like I, I, I did not spot that at all in the laundry. I just saw a bunch of towels and stuff. That's really good. And look, the soap sprite does have tendrils. That what I was, what we were seeing there, it was tendrils. We were right. Um, wine sprite. The design for the sprites. It looks kind of like a like a Dark Souls fog frog a little bit. Uh. More traditional, a mix between mosquitoes and more traditional fairy designs. In general, I am frightened of most flying insects, so I wanted the idea of having a little fairy in your home to give people like me the shivers. The Warlock Remnant is in fact an edited photograph of me wearing a Halloween mask from my childhood, along with a cheap vampire costume I had from past Halloweens. Felt cute, might delete later. The concept of coupons came about after I'd received feedback from demo players asking for more motivation for playing the game well, since playing the game poorly would net you more interesting content in the form of the consequence calls. Yeah, we, we probably missed out on a lot. We did decently. We got like half, like probably like seventy five percent of the coupons. Um, I thought that pointless employee discounts for products offered by HSH would make for funny yet lore heavy content for high scoring incentives and based the look of the product images off of nineties infomercial infomercial ads. A ratty end. Originally, the game over. Ah, I don't want to know. I don't want to know about that. Originally, the player received their promotion at the end of the shift on Saturday, but it felt a bit too abrupt to go from an otherwise normal work day to the game's fantastical ending in the span of a single call. Uh, after a bit of brainstorming, we wound up coming with a dedicated final trial day where you would be called by Crypto Cloaker. Yes, it was very smart. That was the best part of the game. W without that, honestly, I, I think I would have hated the ending. I think I would have like not liked the game if they didn't have this sequence. That sequence made everything work. So that was that's crazy that the game almost didn't have that. Um... In order for music to be closed for it early on, this crude animated storyboard animatic was created. The animatic and music would later also serve to be the actual pacing, the actual shoot. Promotion crown. I'll read Little Kirby Sticks fake mushrooms. Given the players only getting their first promotion, the materials involved are all more crude and common than the more lavish crown that Faye Carol wears. Faye Carol's makeup. And this would play the role of Carol Courtney, also designed the final makeup and costume for Faye Carol in the game's ending cutscene, depicting Carol in her truer, more ancient form. In Courtney's own words, I want to look like a prompter swap witch. Romper. Faye Carol's costume was also pieced together by Courtney herself, utilizing stress netting, a faux moss, a stress black skirt, and finally topping it all off with a crown f fashion from faux twigs and leaves. And that's that. So yeah, there's, um, I do kind of wish I could just like click a button now that I, since I got the true ending to just like see everything I missed instead of playing again. I mean, I guess I could play again and just fuck everything up, but my dog needs me. My voice is tired. I'm feeling less sick than I did, uh, at the start. So that's cool. The game healed me. Streaming to you guys healed me. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Next stream will be sometime. I don't know. I gotta work on stuff. Uh, maybe next week when Tekken 8 comes out or something, we'll do a little Tekken 8. Um, that game, y'all, if, if y'all follow me on Tumblr, you know that I went to a Tekken 8 event um, in uh, California where I was allowed to play the game early and it was pretty dope. It was pretty fucking sick. And I'm really excited for that launch. So yeah, you're going to want to check that out. Oh shit, I don't have Streamlabs open to roll the credits. Shit. Hold on, it's coming.
Get ready. B Jack shitted on you? Well, he's not in Tekken 8. He hasn't even played Tekken 8. I have. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the BBVR AI edit too. I'm hoping I can just like buckle down. It really, it really at this point is a matter of just like, I just have to work a lot now. It's like, I have to work a lot on it and I have to figure out how to release it. If one big video, two big videos or many small videos, I don't know. We'll have to find out. Thank you so much if you contributed to the stream. Next stream will probably be sooner than later. Uh, if you guys remember um, that one thing, <laughs> that one thing, Novel AI streams, Venmo's Lair, Venmo's Lair, Air, um, he is uh, the, that's, the, those will be happening again, of course, that like many, many crazy asses going into that. And there's even more coming soon. Very unique features. Honestly, one of the features, I don't know if it's going to be ready by the next stream. One of them definitely will be, but some of the implementations of it, I think, are things that I don't think have existed on Twitch. I don't think anyone's doing what, what I'm doing with this. Um, the I got some unique stuff to show you. It's going to be cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, ciao, ciao, Garden. Yes, I have not forgotten about the bonus streams for Sonic Adventure. I promise you I still want to do those. I'm sorry, I'm very busy. <laughs> Thank you. Let's raid Mira. She's playing Northern Journey, which is a game I've owned for a long time and I've meant to stream, but never did. I gotta go take that doggy out to go take a damn shit. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye. Stick around so you can raid Mira. She'll appreciate it. Mira's pretty cool. Woo. Uh oh, is it? I don't know. <laughs> It is for you to decide whether this ending is reality or simply illusion.